Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Before we start tonight, we have an announcement regarding our show. We will be changing nights to accommodate player uh, commutes and also uh, t so we won't be going up against Maze Arcana's new campaign, which starts next Wednesday, March 21st at 7 p.m. So beginning next week, we will be... We'll be uh, so beginning next week, we'll be streaming Mondays at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, also, prior to our sessions, uh, our prior sessions will be stored on Twitch for 14 days. Uh, we have actually hit that for our debut episode. So if you are a first-time viewer or haven't caught all the way up, um, you can continue to watch those on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you're looking to see what our YouTube channel is, you can visit our Twitter account, MBMRPG, and that has all of our show information pinned to the top. Additionally, we would like to thank the following groups and individuals for helping to make the show better. Thanks to Axe and Shield for their fantastic combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for their amazing terrain. Thanks to Sirenscape for their amazing soundscapes. And lastly, thanks to Satine Phoenix and Rudy Rutenberg for their help and assistance in getting us set up. Uh, last week, we did have some people asking about uh, the, the players and their characters. So we should probably do this at the end. Uh, the entrance of every show um, talking about who is playing what and why. Well, maybe not why. Um, so, Mike? Yes. Who are you playing tonight? I am playing Cirque. He is a barbarian who was found lost or found on a deserted island when he was about 15 years old. Okay. Doug? I'm playing Xenos. Xenos is a halfling uh, wizard who was previously a cabin boy on a pirate ship and sees himself being a pirate captain someday. Okay. I am Aaron. I'm playing Vizago, a completely trustworthy tiefling bard. <laughs> no. Not really. No, 100%. No, it's, it's <laughs> true. My name, it's my for true. Adam. I'm playing Corvin, a completely sober warlock. He gets it. Is that what we're saying? We're <laughs> lying? Yeah. No, I'm a filthy drunk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Frank? <laughs> I'm Frank. I'm playing Ren. The also known as? Fernbar, the Fernbold <laughs> Druid who believes in survival of the fittest and believe nothing else that comes out. Also Rinny. known as Rennie the Pooh. No, not really a thing. <laughs> it's it was I'm unhealthy. playing Sarsaral, the submerged <laughs> half elven cleric, the chosen champion of Umberly. And what's your name? Sarsaral. What's oh, your name? my name. <laughs> my name is Howard. Okay. It's actually crazy. His real name is actually Sarsaral. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing Howard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's been two weeks for us because we were at GaryCon last uh, last Wednesday and. Um, let's do a little recap. It'll probably be uh, more of a recap for the players than it will be for the audience since we taped the last week's episode. Um, so last week, uh, the party was making their way through uh, the citadel of the Rumbletide Dwarves. Um, they found themselves in the Ale House, um, the storage facility for the Rumbletide Dwarves, and um, they were able to defeat a bunch of uh, drunken goblins which was awesome. Um, and they made their way into um, a balcony a, that was looking over the, uh, the mixing room. And they happened to overhear a conversation between uh, what appeared to be the hobgoblin leader, Viwuk, um, and a figure in the pool of the mixing room who was uh, basically being scried to be there. Um, that figure was a uh, red dragonborn with black plate armor and gold filigree by the name of Lord Archon. Um, and he told Viwuk that um, they should gather their, uh, their plunder before their, <coughs> before their scene and then make their way um, back to where they came from. And at that point... Um, the three figures on the balcony were successful in their stealth checks, and you have now a round to figure out what you're doing 
Um, the characters that were not on the balcony did not overhear what was going on. So, um, so with that, let's get started. What do we so, do? Shad? Yes. For clarification. Sure. So, my familiar was uh -huh. on the balcony. Yes, and you were using the... And, and the, the, t the connection. Uh -huh. But Xenos himself is standing next to the smoldering ruins of the barrels. Right? Correct. So I could relay to everyone else that's down below what just happened. Yes, if that's what you want to do for the round. Um, I think that I do want to do that. Well, okay. Be my turn. okay, so uh, just so that we kind of recap, because maybe not everybody knows how your familiar stuff works. Um, so you can speak, um, and when you're in the senses of your familiar, you're blind and deaf. That's correct. Okay. We just want to make sure that everybody is aware of what's going on so that there's no two-way conversation happening. And you probably would have done this often enough that maybe some people would know. Maybe not others. We'll see. Um, so, so you explain that to them. And what, do you, what does Xenos say? Um, well, I would describe that generally what, I, what I'm seeing through the octopus about what's in the, who's okay. in the room. So there's... Um, you only, and you have, no one has spotted a fourth figure in the room. So it's just of, these three. Because right? of his placement. Right. You, you see the hobgoblins. Okay, so I, I, as I'm seeing it, I would relay quietly to the other two in the room um, that there's those three hobgoblins and they were just talking to some sort of scary guy in the okay. pool. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so if I'm remembering this correctly, it is Mike, Frank, and Xenos is familiar in the on the balcony so um what are frank what is rennie and mike what is cirque doing during during this one round of flying elbow into the room onto a hobgoblin into the room yes we're not going to wait for them to come out no he's he's doing the flying elbow <laughs> flying elbow that's the flying elbow from the top so are you going to survival of the fittest frank I mean, I get that part. I have no problem with that. Are you going to do that now? Because well, this is your action. What are you doing in this six seconds? Do it. Yeah, I'm going to jump on the hobgoblin and I can see. All right. It's legit. Uh, yep. Make me an attack roll. Uh, oh, Rennie, no. doesn't matter what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> also, you guys, doesn't really matter. <laughs> You hear, there's some guys in... Oh, sir. Xenos' uh, description Actually, will continue on then. <laughs> what you hear is this. <coughs> uh, ah! Okay. tell me a little table stand pops Ooh, up. Yeah. And you are going after... Um, that hobgoblin in the corner that I can see. This one. Okay, yeah. you're going after V-Wook. Let's just... Let's... let's yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then... <laughs> whee! Okay, so you make an attack roll. What was your... Yep. 21. So you hit... Mike, was there a... Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Did we sell any meat products while you did it? <laughs> well, I'm going to snap this guy in half. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. His name is going to be Slim Jim. Jim. Yeah, yeah <laughs> good. That's nice. I like that. By the way, um, Slim Jim, so if you're not, watching, not, we're no, still... A bit I can't rage while I'm doing this, right? Because it's just uh, one action of jump off and... No, you, you've got a round, so you've got oh, a okay. full... All right. And... Then we're going to roll initiative, and then Mike wins initiative. So <laughs> yeah. hopefully you roll I, worse I than Mike. Wish. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, four round. See, it's, it's 11. 11. Okay, so he takes 11. The hobgoblins look surprised <laughs> by this turn of events Am because... covered in goblin blood and... You Greece? are covered in goblin blood, absolutely. And, and you so, just jumped yeah. on the lead of the person who was taking the orders, too, didn't you? Yes. Well, and, and <laughs> so, to be fair, he was also giving the orders. Does so, he Does he now see, is there a fourth person? Yes, room? there is a fourth person in that room. So now you see, um, and actually, if we want to, if we can remove that and then give Frank one of the Axe and Shield combat risers um, for his character to be on the second floor, you know, this is why we can't have nice things. Blah, blah, blah. They're modular. You can't actually break them. That's right. That's right. We are very heavy. So, Mike, when Cirque jumps down to uh, drop the elbow on... Yes. Actually, I'm going to need you to make an acrobatics check as well. Acrobatics? Yep. That's, that's not my best. Well, seven. Okay, so you actually, land eight. prone when you, when you hit. That's fine. <laughs> 
And That's fair. what you see is there is also a fiery red bearded dwarf with uh, black skin, like midnight black skin in this room. And he was about to say something to Vwook on his initiative, but you have interrupted him. He's like, so why don't we roll initiative? That's a good one, Doug. What'd you get? Uh, seven. Seven. Eighteen. Eighteen. Well, that's good for everybody else. <laughs> seven club. I'm sorry, what? Seven club? Seven club, okay. Uh, With the musical lyric. Gotcha, <laughs> yeah. gotcha. Um, Adam? Twelve. Twelve. You know, this is actually working out pretty well. You were going to go first anyway, it sounds like. <laughs> Twelve, okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Aww. Okay, so but my bonus do you want to go before or after? Well, you get to choose. Well, I got an eight. Probably be all. to your benefit have to have Mike go first. Yeah. So yeah. you don't go last. Shipwreck's going to go first. Oh, right. Uh, and then we've got a... a okay. There we go. So I'm going to put you in this order. If you two and you two would like to go in a different order, <laughs> you let me know after I roll initiative for the bad guys. I'm not going to put the bad guys in place uh, until you tell me, though. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Just unless someone opens the door for me. Okay. You guys Can't good? Burn anything yeah. if the door All right. Closed. Uh, now you okay. took your hand off your piece. Oh, so. I can slam the door open if it's not locked. Okay. Because I still got that effect going, remember? Okay. And the dwarf. Oh, your octopus like. Oh, oh then, my octopus the, is not getting into this fight. Yes. So, all right, that's as confused. We're as done. Back in the, the little, pocket dimension. Eight little tentacles. And <laughs> well, there's a pool right there. The other hobgoblins. As Perhaps later. As confused as a spider can look. <laughs> like, all right. So there's what? a nice little grouping. So there's a dwergar, huh? There's a dwergar in in there. But you don't. Dwarf. You're not aware of it. Um, all right. So. It's just a dwarf. Um, so Shipwreck jumps off the balcony. Um, you hear a big thump. Narsarel does. <laughs> and a scream. Uh, and uh, what the? <laughs> and so what do you do, Narsarel? Hey, don't I get a go? That was your turn. Uh, you I have the whole turn. Think... Did you rage? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be important. Yeah. I think, really uh, important. <laughs> I think Sir probably started the fight, guys. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, I just recounted that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start my... Uh... You know, Thaumaturge, you open the door? <laughs> yeah, Thaumaturge and slam the door open. Okay, boom! The door boom! slams the open. Slam. With a thunderous echo. Okay, and no, then what? A super loud one. And then I guess... Thunder we'll wave. see what happens. <laughs> no, <I'm not> gonna <laughs> thunder wave. Are you, you going to move into the room, or are you going to stay where you're at? What are you going to do? And you see the dwarf. Uh, I think you probably can. Actually, yeah, from that Yeah, I, I guess I'll move to the door, at least. Okay. And that's your uh, move that's, and your yeah, action. Do you have a bonus? Action, I don't. Okay. Not this turn. Because uh, I used right. it to open the door. Vwook goes, and he's gonna make a. He's gonna shout some orders to <gasps> the ho the other hobgoblins in the room, and then he's gonna make two great sword attacks against Mike with advantage. I'm 18. sure it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So one hits. <clears throat> And the other one is a 19. Yeah. All right, so two hits. It's gonna hurt, a little bit. All right, bit. so. A little bit. Uh, sure. 10 damage. So five. And uh, that's three plus two is five, so two. Seven, all right. Okay, so he also, um, actually that's an action for him to do. So he attacks you twice. Um, the uh, two hobgoblins in the back, they're, uh, that's a 20 foot room if I remember correctly, yes? Mm -hmm. Or more? Like 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20. 6 squares is 30. Yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30. I think it's a 30. Okay. So um, they will move. Uh, then we're going to move forward, and then they're going to. Forward. Dis Into the water? They're going to move forward on each either side of okay. the pool, and then they're going to disappear, and they're going to reappear in the. Um, in the the barrel room, um, on a 
adjacent to creatures that would be advantageous for them to move to. So one's going to hit uh, be next to Xenos, and um, they do that like there, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Like they bamf, just and, went there. Yeah. Shadow. And what about gone. the other one? Yeah. The other one will be it if it's going to be tiefling or the drunk. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it's uh, even even it'll be the tiefling. Uh, so it's a, it's the drunk. Cool. So they shadow jaunt. That's their action. Um, uh, and the dwarf, or the dwergar rather, is going <coughs> to make. He only gets one attack, but he does get an advantage because shipwreck is prone. Uh, no. He is not going to hit. So he tries to hit you with a pickaxe. And so he's going to move next to me? Too? Yeah, he's going to okay. move adjacent and attack. So now I see him. So now you see him. Do you want me to thunder wave you? What's the... What's the and he says, that? it looks like you got adventurers. An adventurer infestation. And that's it for them. Uh, Renny. <laughs> I am going to drop down behind the, the Durga. Well, yeah. Dwarf, go ahead and get rid of the from the down Zox under. Not jump okay. yeah. Just making sure. They, they we'll speak down under yeah. common. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't know we were combining. That's cannon. That's cannon. I'm G'day, gonna drop down Gabby. behind the uh, the Durga. Durga. Whatever the Durga. The Durga. The Durga. The Durga. The Durga. The Durga. And the Durga Guardian. That is a sixteen to hit. Uh, 16 is what you need. All right. So. Uh, and he'll very... take nine. And then he needs to make a uh, con save DC 11. So he takes a nine. Is this a poison effect? Yes, by it chance? is. Is okay. he immune to poison? He is not immune, he but is. as a dwarf, he is resistant. Um, what does that mean? Okay. He has advantage on saving throws against poison, and he <clears throat> takes half damage. Okay. Um, so, I'm sorry, you said nine? Yes. Okay. 17, and his con save is, what's the DC that 11. I'm going for? 11, he makes it. All right, so if he would take half, and then he takes another half, does that mean he doesn't take anything? No. Is that how that works? No. Okay. All right, so uh, that is 13. Is okay. what he would take. So he takes uh, half. Thir you, Four. You did thir I rolled you, 13. That's okay. how much damage I would do. Okay. He right. didn't he make the save. So six. So then, yeah. So he's he takes six. Okay. All right. Um, the the advantage on saving throws is to avoid the poisoned condition where he ha that's an actual condition. Okay. Or, for those of us who have not muted their cell phones, condition. Um, Corbin. Uh, that might need to go on the checklist. <laughs> Can the guy in front of me make a wisdom saving throw? I think he gets... The guy in front of you is a hobgoblin? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And he gets advantage. Okay. Why does he get advantage? DC's 14. Okay. Because we're fighting. Because you're a uh, He makes it. Okay. 16 on the die. <clears throat> That's me. That's you. Yep. Xenos. Um, how smart are these guys? Um, they appear to be smart enough to attack you. <laughs> I don't know if that qualifies as smart, but what that's worth. Um, now, have you sucked your uh, consciousness back into yourself? Have you, you got your senses back, well, or are you still blind? And, no, and no, I got when the octopus saw those guys go this way. Right. I would have gone back to see what's going on because the doors open and they're. What kind of uh, action is it to do that? Is it free? right? Well, let's look. Let's let's do look because that will right. matter. Um, oh as an act, okay, that's that's action to dismiss my familiar. Okay. Um, when your familiar is within 100 feet, you can communicate with telepathically. As additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of your next turn, gaining the benefits of any special. Until senses. the start of your next turn. Right. So if my it's so now, now your turn. So my starts. So you're yeah. back. So I'm back. You can yeah. choose to be back. Okay. Right. I just want to make sure that it didn't take you an action to get back because that would that suck. Would, that would suck. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to move, can I move away from him without getting an attack opportunity? You can disengage as an action. Okay. But that will be your action. <coughs> okay. Or you can, uh, if you're making an attack roll yes. with a spell, it is at disadvantage, but you can cast adjacently without taking an opportunity attack. Okay. Or if you have a saving throw, that doesn't, that doesn't factor in. You can, you can cast something with a saving throw and you don't get a penalty. Okay, well... 
based on my notes from two weeks ago, it looks like I'm down to my cantrips. So oh. I don't have anything to save at this point. Um, okay. In which case, as an action, I will disengage, disengage and um, can I move the my full speed then to do that? Um, you know, yes, I'm going to have... You can take a disengage action. Your movement does not provoke opportunity attacks for the so rest of the movement. turn. So I can move 25 feet? And then another 25 feet. Okay, so I can move 50 feet. Um, so I can move to, say, over here. Yep. All right, there you go. Near my my friend, the champion. <laughs> the champion of Umberley. Yeah, the champion. All right. Oh, I know what he's talking about. Uh, yeah. Visago? Uh, I'm going to look at that. Uh, Hobgoblin right there standing in front of me. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna like look at him really serious. Uh huh. I'm gonna make like a face and I'm gonna cast hideous laughter on him. Okay, so he has to make, to a, make a wisdom DC 15 saving throw. And to be clear, this is um, this is one of the hobgoblins that moved into yes. the yeah. room. Okay. Oh, natural one. <laughs> yeah, so he's on the floor laughing in front. Oh my okay. goodness. Oh god, yeah. that's a funny dude. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and does he get a subsequent saves? Yes. At the, at, at the end, end of, of each turn, turn, he gets one, and if he takes damage, he gets to make one with advantage. Okay. All and right. then I'm going to move. Okay. <laughs> Over here. Just leave him laughing. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bravely walk away. So that is. Oh, yeah, it's not a run. It's a The last in the initiative, so we're back to Shipwreck. All right, I'm going to stand up. Okay, that's half your movement. We are we currently. We're flanking. Well, we're flanking the. The Dwarga. The Dwarga. Right the Dwarga. Because I'm going to attack the hot oh. Okay. Take his head off. Mm. You going to reckless? No. It's no, I'm not. Because I don't like, want two more advantageous attacks. Just make sense. one. So does that 14 hit him? Nope. Awesome. Oh, All right. <laughs> it is Sarsarel's turn. Well, I can't get in there with. Uh, I guess I'll try a spear attack with my jab one or my uh, trident. Okay. On the dwarf. What flavor is your trident? Uh, you could also supplement. probably back up and back him up, too. Oh, I could do that. You've got a dwarf right behind well, you. Well, here's what's nice about Ivy. You can move up, get him. attack, and then move, move away. Mm, if you move out me, of his threaten, though, let me count an opportunity me. attack. Who's over here? Yeah, you've got this guy here. Yeah. So if I move here, am I flanking then? I think so. Or not? No, no, because no, he's at an angle. Okay. I'll just move adjacent there and attack okay. him. Okay. Is that a 16? Uh, hit the monk. Yeah. It does. It does. Perfect. You mean the hobgoblin? The hobgoblin. He's a monk. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. He's a monk. Hobgoblin. He's, a monk. Hobgoblin. He's called the Iron Shadow. Ah, uh, that's for doesn't five that, damage. Doesn't that sound deadly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stab him in the stomach. You stab like him, him, and he's like, ah, ah. That hurts slightly. All right. So, it is Vwick's turn again. Um. Uh. He is going to ready an action to attack you. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. He's just going to attack you. <laughs> I was trying. To, I was going to try to get the Dwergar to flank you. He could leave if he'd like. He could. <laughs> he <laughs> certainly <laughs> could. He could definitely move around me. He can certainly. He can move around you for sure. Yeah. And he could leave my threatened square. Absolutely. Poison his bond on the way back. Oh, but he does. Oh man, I missed this. Okay. Um. So one, one hits. Okay. So, um, one thing that I missed when I attacked the first round which I don't actually think it would have impacted you, but it does impact you this time, is once per turn, the Hobgoblin can, can deal an additional 2d6 damage uh, against a creature it hits with a weapon attack if it has an ally within five feet. That's handy. <laughs> 11 and... That's all one attack, seven. Though, right? It's one. one. It yeah. counts as one attack. Yeah, 17. Ouch. And uh, two more is 19. Okay, so nine. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else would be like, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boy, that hurt a lot. So <laughs> that, that is his turn. He swings twice and he hits you like solid connection yeah. oh, at the collarbone. I, and I, you I, I feel, like, oh, good you, feel you feel some cracking at the collarbone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll put you back together. Okay. So I'll put you back together. The, the dwarf. 
The dwarf is going to use his action to um, cast a, uh, well, use one. Actually, he can use his action to disengage, so then he doesn't provoke movement. No, what he's going to do instead is turn invisible. Mm. Um, do we have that invisible marker? We don't. Oh. I mean, we do, but we'd have to dig it out. Okay. Um, so he's going to turn invisible. And then he is going to try to move past you. Blind sight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> so he's going to move five feet. That's fantastic. That's so good. And you're, and you're tracking him with your blind sight? Yes, like your eyes are just... Yep. Yeah. Well, that's not going well, to I mean, his eyes don't move. Like a spider. Yeah. His eyes are just like this. Yeah. And he moves. And I'm he's assuming like, the head moves, though. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's a spider. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, oh, you moved. Do you get anything fancy for... Uh, uh, it's disadvantage on attack rolls against a um, invisible creature. He didn't provoke. He didn't provoke. He just moved five okay. feet. Just moved, and then he was like, "Oh shit, I can't, I can't get past this thing if it can see me." How does he know I can see? How does he know he can? Everybody's yeah. supposed to know how, everything about. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe I, if he made a nature roll. Well, yeah. hold on, hold on. Let me make him make a wisdom check. There you go. Uh, no, he does not. <laughs> so go ahead and make your attack of opportunity, sir. <laughs> He's still oh, oh, that, that was shenanigans. Yes, that, that was what shenanigans. That was. I missed. You okay. missed. Okay. <laughs> he, could, he keeps moving regardless, right? Yeah, he's going to continue yeah. to move. He would have, even if he hit him. Yeah. He'd still keep going. Yeah. yeah. Um. So he goes to go by, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's it for him. So um, where does he where'd go? He go? Well, he. I don't think he can squeeze out that door. You're blocking no. the door. Yeah, I'm blocking. You're blocking the door. it all. Um, actually, you know what? He's gonna try something. Okay. He's gonna try to make an uh, an acrobatics check to get past you. Okay. Uh -oh. He has a plus zero. Okay. So he does not get past you. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so he tries to squeeze along the, the wall, and you're like, <laughs> and he's like, can you web him? Blind side. Yeah. Good to know. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Um, okay, so the hobgoblin that is got the hideous laughter, yeah. he is going to try to make his save. He does not. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> he did the save. <laughs> <laughs> the hobgoblin next to Sarsarel, is that the one That's, that... It's next to him and me. I'm okay. Right here. That's the one that attacked. Yeah. The okay. Um, he is going to attack the weaker of the two targets because you're wearing armor. So he's going to try to attack. <laughs> That's true, I am. <laughs> Do you still have your? Did did anything hit you when you had the you'd cast? The that was armor that was bef Agnes. before we did the rest. Uh, okay, yeah. all right. I didn't know if it was before or after. Okay, yeah. so he's gonna make um, some attacks against you. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and multi attack because why not? Um, so the first two are a. 21 and a 19. Those both hit. And the second two oh. are not going to hit. He seems okay. pretty flurious. Yeah, he's fl he's fast and flurious. Oh. <laughs> oh, that hurts wow. That was, that was unfortunate on a Every lot time. of levels. Um, Every time. Every time. <laughs> just like both claws. So you take uh, seven damage and six damage, 13 total. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's them. Uh, Rennie? Uh, so, um,. Seeing as how he's tried to slide by me and I saw him, yes. I'm webbing those two together. Okay. Oh, that's reflex saving throw. Uh, let's see. It is a reflex yes. saving throw. Uh, yes. As more of a statement than a question. <laughs> um, so that is an 18 on the die. Okay. Oh. He gets so, by. So and like, the other guy. <laughs> uh, oh, you're, you're webbing V look. Yeah. Why would you web V look? That is a seven. I mean, that's not going to say. He's not going he to do I look at you. <laughs> and now I'm going to swing on. I'm going to bite so, the. So, with your web, is he restrained now? Uh, target is uh, yeah. escape action. Just, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, okay. Since it says restrained right So, now. restrained. <laughs> Good uh, for, for us and for those on the stream who may not have played fifth edition, uh, is. Uh, 
attacks against the creature have advantage, attacks from the creature have disadvantage. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to uh, poison the, um, well, bite the dwarf. The invisible dwarf. The invisible dwarf. So what was the, was it an action to web? Uh, I have two. I have two attacks. I have the web and then I have the bite. Okay. I'm just trying to keep you honest. That's okay. All right. It's okay. It's so new. What, do it's I need to new. do anything to, because he's invisible and I have blind sight, does that? I I would assume that cancels that out. I like Method Man. I see you. <laughs> yeah. Method Man, then. Pretty good. All right. So that is a 18. 18 is going to hit him. Uh, that will be 10 damage. Okay. And he then he can go damage. ahead and make his poison check. It doesn't matter. Even if he saves, he he only had eleven. Now, never mind. I'm not even gonna not even gonna bring it up. Um, you guys have the opportunity to make uh, uh, non-lethal attacks, but uh, poison is, that's you can't do that. So, uh, yeah, he's he's dead. He dies. Oh, would he keep uh, homeboy alive? <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the Dwarf Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Wow. I'm going to take this piece off oh and I'm going to stare at you disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so what you're saying is I should... Corbin, grab I can't say uh, anything, but... a bonus action mm -hmm. to Hexblade Curse the Hobgoblin. Are you going to okay. pick a five foot step that we're flanking him to? Or? Yeah, you can just move freely and yeah, not yeah. get opportunity attacks. Yeah. As long as you move around him. Yeah, and don't you leave stay the certain Yep. Um, and then I attack him. Okay. And I got a crit. Oh, look at you. So he can take 18 points of damage. Ooh. Now, is this the one that's taken damage before? It is. It's the one okay. that I hit last So round. he is not feeling great. But he has hit points. Still. Fantastic. Good friend. Um, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and correct my math there. He has hit points still. <laughs> but significantly less than <laughs> when, I, when I did the math wrong. <laughs> Xenos. Um, well, I guess I'm going to hit him with You should attack the, the one that's on the ground. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. He thinks this is hilarious. Yeah. It's going to be real funny when his friend bursts into flames. So, um, oh. I would laugh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, this went differently when we were oh, play test. That's only an eight. Two. When we so were double the, the current, more than double the current level? You had less players. What? That was only an eight to hit. That so. does not hit. Yeah. He also didn't have this. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna point at the hobgoblin over there who's just gonna shit And I went, I told your friend you were the best hobgoblin here. That's his reaction, and that's vicious mockery on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and make that wisdom saving throw. The wisdom throw. saving throw. What's the DC Thank that I'm you. shooting for? 15. 15. 16 on the dice? Ooh, plus nice. two. There you go. He's like, nah, uh, I'm getting my shit wrecked over here. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. It didn't hurt my feelings as much as Tatcha did. Are you going to move or do anything else? I am going to do one other thing, which is I'm going to be like, but shipwreck, you still killed it over there, and I'm going to give you that inspiration. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. goodness gracious. Okay. Shipwreck? You got advantage. Over you got there. advantage oh, to attack right. yeah. yeah. And I get to choose to use it. Why don't you, it? you right? can just choose to use him. it, and you can choose it after you roll. So if you get good rolls, you don't have to use it. Why don't you just attack him reckless, too? No. No. <laughs> All right. So then you get a normal attack against me? Yeah. Oh, uh, Andrew, thank you for subscribing. Oh. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, nice. thank you. Yes, thank, thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Including us. <laughs> action shield is now on. Awesome. Hey, hey Chris. how's it going? So it's an 11 or a 16. I'm going to get the six. So 22 to hit him? 22 is going to hit him. All right. 16 damage. 16 damage. All right. And I just start it's decent. Uh, laughing when I go, you're going to die today. <laughs> okay. Uh, Star Uh I'm going to stab the guy with a trident. Okay. That's a good idea. So I'm holding a trident, and okay. then I plunge it towards the guy like I know what I'm doing. Sounds good. And I do know what I'm doing. Okay. I hit him for four damage. Okay. So you Jeez. clip him. Yeah. Uh, you don't really hit him. It's I'm like more of a great a grazing. A grazing. Um, kind of like in fact, uh, it's almost like he had more hit points than he started. Um, almost. Almost. Uh, all right. I accidentally so, had the tuning for it. V-Wook. I thought you knew what you were doing. This is a part? turn of events that V-Wook does not get attack, uh, get advantage on his stuff and instead gets disadvantage. So he's going to attack you twice. 
Um, and that is not going to hit for the first time. Okay, let me get to get a uh, natural one. Nope. Oh. Um, so he misses. And then he does what he can to throw down his sword. <laughs> <laughs> it just sticks in the way. It's like, he goes like this. And it's it is still there. He's like, but but you saw that I. <laughs> Shipwreck's like you saw he was armed. <laughs> he throws a dagger just he to be arms. sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Throws a dagger armed. next to his body. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so the. Um, <laughs> just gonna get around daggers. <laughs> so the. Daggers. He's planting weapons on us. <laughs> the hobgoblin <laughs> uh, iron shadow that's still up and active. Uh-huh. He is gonna teleport. Thirty feet away right. into um, into this area, okay. the, the, where the, cent- the dwarf is, the oh. more central area. Yeah, where your friend the door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he teleports to us. That's not here. That's not Craig. Craig. Oh. That's Craig's, Craig's friend. Uh, yeah, and he's like, dunk, kill Steeler. He's not gonna teleport adjacent. <laughs> oh, he was teleporting. I mean, I know that you're trying to help him out, Xenos, <laughs> but no. <laughs> and then he's gonna move, um, and he has uh, 40 feet of movement. So he's going to move as far as he can. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, this nope, way? Nope, no, this way. This way? Yeah. Isn't that caved in? No, that is leads to a tunnel that uh, where you had heard uh, the sounds of an underwater river oh. rushing through. So he's going to start booking it away. Um, the other uh, hobgoblin... Try he, and stop laughing. He's gonna try uh, natural one. <laughs> natural Poor one. Dude. All right. So that's it for them. Uh, ready? I go back into human form. Ooh, not human form. To be clear, humanoid. Form. Humanoid form. Caradel. That's Caradel. Staying yeah, outside Caridale. of the web that I just created. It's gonna call. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, that's that'd, smart. That'd be funny though. Yeah. And um, I say to you, way more for <laughs> you than him. We're taking him alive. 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 He's raging. <laughs> oh, Raging and Cajun. You should have webbed him. <laughs> he would just cut get through it. <laughs> Do one of these. Push him right into that web. <laughs> um, I'd be adjacent, so, so I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> we both be tagging each other with disadvantage. <laughs> You're headbutting him. <laughs> so you, you move out, you move away. Yeah, so I convert back to, I go back to humanoid form. Uh-huh. Uh, when I look at that crazy look in his eyes, uh-huh. um, I tell the guy, I say, um, You're on your own. tell me what you know. He says, hey, I have a name. It's Fivor. He says, I say, tell me what you know and you might live through this. Okay, you got it. You're going to need to start talking fast. It's not my turn. <laughs> <laughs> and shipwreck goes die. before I do. Yeah, uh, Corvin? <clears throat> um, I'm going to die. I'll take a step out the door. Okay. You do not see the hob... Well, you might you see, see the hobgoblin's butt as he's running away. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> That's Target. All you need. Jingle, jingle. <laughs> Oh, you're, be- you're belling his ass? Yeah. Okay. So what it... Uh, that's a... DC 14. Wiz. Four- oh, okay. Wiz. Okay. All right. Uh, 17 on the dice. Okay. Ha ha, he says. <laughs> I will run away. <laughs> we have- What's the dwarf doing? Venus? That he goes on my turn. Oh, okay. Sure. He goes on Sarsarel's turn. <laughs> it does. Zenos? All right. So we know there's one guy running away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Rin's saying we're taking this guy alive. Oh, uh, I'm gonna let you guys sort that out. <laughs> it's probably so, safe. Notice I'm on the so other five, side of the web. 10, 15, 20, 25. If I get to here, I can still see the guy. You can see his butt. Yep. So I I'll go. Take orders from Zenos, but not you. <laughs> not <laughs> no. you. Um, <laughs> Try to convince you to keep him alive. Take some prisoners this time, shipwreck, and I'll run out of here and try to get. <laughs> So that's a 21 to hit him. 21 hits him. Okay. So. <laughs> that's awesome. Then we've got, let's see here, 1d10 fire damage. So five fire damage. You kill him. Nice. Whoosh. Oh my. Wait, was that non-lethal? No. That's <laughs> fire. Oh my. He's on oh my fire. Goodness. Not only did you kill him, you healed me. <laughs> you get burned, I did? Burned to a crisp. What? Oh. Yeah, because I had him hexed. Nice. Nice. Good job. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Vizago? I'm gonna go over here. 
Okay. So sad. <laughs> I'm gonna lean over this guy's head and I go, in a moment, maybe, you're gonna get your senses back. When that happens, you're gonna wanna stay down. <laughs> right now we're trying it's to conv- we're trying to laugh. Like you're saying, I know, the entire the time world. it's going, he's going, and I'm like, <clears throat> you're hearing right now, my friend, probably <clears throat> gonna kill your leader. I tried to stop him. <laughs> You can deal with me. He knows that that's not the truth. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> I mean, he currently does, witnessed that. Does he know that's the truth? Yeah. Like, you have not done anything to stop him, your friends, from killing his leader. My friends have. All right. Um, so, do you want to, like, ready in action? I'm, I'm going to ready in action, then, if he doesn't drop his sword when he stops laughing. Oh, he's got that's two. not a sword. It's... Well, yeah, the mini's wrong. The, he's got two punchy punches. He's got, okay. If he's he doesn't... Mind. Like, yeah. do a give up? Sure. I'm going to stab him. Yeah. Although, his leader did a give up. And we'll see how that works. Uh, Shepard? I got, was it V-Wook? V-Wook. You're yeah. going to kill him? You're frothing at the mouth. Because he's walk blocked? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I was told prisoners. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I disengage. Okay. Which means my rage ends. Okay. Because cool. if I'm not... Advancing towards an enemy or attacking one, rage ends. Yeah. Okay. So, V-Wook is webbed and um, your rage is ended and you're not taking hostile actions. Sarsarel, are mm-hmm. you going to fuck this up in any way? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Modus operandi. The dwarf runs over here and uh-huh. just Kicks smacks him. the body with yeah. his hammer. Nice. And he says, in there he the was... End. Ready. He's like, Garadel <laughs> says, I killed the Hobgoblin! <laughs> exactly. Shows up at the very end. Exactly. He's just putting yeah. out the fire. That's don't all. put uh, out the fire. I'll go. I like the fire. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like I need to do anything. You can head over to here. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, if you want to join the I'll punching join, squad in case this guy decides. I'll join punching him. squad. <laughs> there you go. You're in a flanking position. Yeah. Should he get up and not. <laughs> yeah. I could have yeah. moved in. Towards to kill that guy. So I'll make sure you <laughs> could have. You could have. Right. I'm gonna be honest. That was round two. If this continued on <laughs> for me. So, um, so, well, let me. Hold you on. can go ahead and roll. What's the DC? Fifteen. No. <laughs> that so eventually, we'll just say eventually it stops. He stops laughing. He, he stops laughing. Oh, I'll, I'll, if, if, and he gives up. He's it's going and turn. everyone's around. I'm gonna be like. All right, you can stop now. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> okay. So you have two hobgoblins. One has a name. The other one also, also has, has a name, name, but it's Hobgoblin. <laughs> Steve Hobgoblin? Steve. Well, no. Steve That's Hobgoblin over he here. He only does. speaks Hobbs. Hobgoblin. He's so a prisoner when, of war. His name is Steve Hobgoblin. When he speaks to you, he says, Hobgoblin? <laughs> and I go, oh, that's a dirty thing you would say because I speak goblin. Did he just insult us? I mean, he said something bad about your mother. I don't know what it was, though. So, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I'm going to go interrogate him over here. I know, <laughs> it's fair. You should probably do that. We only need what would one you like prisoner. To, what would you like to do here? Uh, well, whichever one talks first lives, the one well, that doesn't dies. There's one that speaks only Hobgoblin, or yeah. Goblin. And then there's one that speaks common. I guess the one that only speaks Hobgoblin up, has a disadvantage. Right? Yeah. You geared up? Especially since he just it's said that house. thing about shipwrecks. <laughs> yeah. He can yeah. decide what speak goblin. Do with the go- Hobgoblin. Yeah. What are we going to do with this guy? Gerdel uh, says that he would prefer to question them so that he could, might be able to get the people that were captured back. Do you also speak Goblin? He does not speak Goblin. He That's speaks good. Dwarven in common. So this guy seems pretty useless to everyone except me. I'm going to be honest. This guy said like three things about Dwarves that I will not repeat. <laughs> Viewer says, hey, I speak common. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> so what do you what do you want to do? Uh, talk to Viewer and just leave that Tie him out or something. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, so you go over and start talking to Viewer. What do you say? I'm going to go take a heel push over here, if you don't mind. <laughs> that seems fair. Uh, well, at, at this point, you're effectively... Out of combat. Out of combat, and in... I mean, unless you want to let these guys loose and start attacking you again. Um, no. No. So you can take I mean, a short rest or a long rest okay. if you choose. Talking is kind of your thing. Long rest would be good. Do you want me to charm? Just hit dice. Go ahead and charm it. Yeah. 
Okay, go for it. Or he, he might. Oh, hey, look, that's ten. Yeah. He might make it. Good job, piss. Yeah. Well, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really piss. matter. Yeah. You've taken his weapon, I'm assuming. And so, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, whiz safe. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. You know what? He can fail to make a will save. Okay. <laughs> or whiz save. He fails. Cool. So he's my friend. He is. For the next hour. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Nice to know that you speak uh, common. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. I, you know, you would have you would have learned that had I spoken to my dwarven ally here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> dead. The dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Wow. And at this point, poison. he's shriveled, <laughs> but also like foaming at the mouth and out his eyes. So, so much of that. Too bad. <laughs> he's got so much of that of immune to poison hey, thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Are you in charge of the other hobgoblin? I was. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still? Uh, that's kind of up to you. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, we'll just have you tell him things. Sure, sure. We Great. can communicate in Goblin. Uh, so tell him to stop trying to escape, if he is. No, the, the other one's being very compliant. He's, okay. he's smart and wise, so he's like, <laughs> he got us. <laughs> hob to the hob goblins. There's a whole room of dead goblins and hob goblins here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I didn't even think about that, but there, that room is just covered in blood and <laughs> goblin parts. And he spent like the past minutes rolling around and unable to stop laughing oh, at his dead oh, friends. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> He's so, ashamed of himself. So, yeah, really what exactly was the plan here? Uh, well, we were going to loot a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. from the Rumbletide Dwarves, and we were going to take it um, someplace else. Where was that? Where? Uh, back to our ship. Oh, you have a ship at the island? Uh, not on the island. Circling the island? It's, you know, we had a signal. What's the signal? Something that we do. And what's that thing that you do? Is it stay alive? Um, well, he's charmed, so he's not. It's not like he's not by me. Well, I mean, he's he's also <laughs> yeah. It's he's, only he's all, I mean, he's yeah. not dominated by you. So he is he's treating you like a friend, but he's also cautious of uh, too much revealing too much information because he was just threatened to be fed to the mouths of Tiamat. Um, if he fucked this up, <laughs> which it appears he has. <laughs> so, uh, maybe he needs to reevaluate who his real friends are, because I'm not going to feed him to the mouths of Tiamat. You I'm, know what? Maybe I should tell just him how we don't know easy it's going to be if he just helps us out. Okay. Can I make a persuasion? Sure. Do I get really advantage since he's charged? Uh, uh, I think they're attached yeah, to Yeah, why not? Heads, so. <laughs> yeah. It's a possibility. Cool. I will take the 18. Okay. 18 total? Yeah. Okay, so he says, um, well, we were going to light a signal once we were on the beach on the far side of the island, and um, then we were going to row ourselves out to meet the ship that was going to pick us up. How many guys on the ship? Many. Enough to get how, us here. I, I, how, how long is the ship? Um, he says three masts. That's a big, That's ship. A big ship. That's a lot of guys. Um, given that Xenos has spent some time on ships, would I have some idea how many crewmen it would take to operate a ship that size? Yeah, I think that's in the 40 to 60 okay. range. You could probably operate it on the skeleton crew, which you think probably is probably what they have done <laughs> since you've okay. killed a bunch of goblins here. Okay. Um, so there's probably 30 more aboard a ship somewhere. Okay. So... 15 for you. <laughs> I was thinking I could take like seven or eight. If we get them all <laughs> closed up together. In, in a 10 by 10 square. Oh, oh, so nice. Why did they yeah. come here? Uh, because there was, one, they're dwarves and they hate dwarves. True. Uh, two, um, they knew about the festival of surf. <coughs> so they thought that it would be an opportune target to didn't, attack during the festival. Didn't uh, Arkin mention the Ember Flame? Or yes, he so did. So why don't we ask him what the Ember Flame is? That's a good, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. He says that's our, our deity. <clears throat> Your deity. And who mm -hmm. was the guy in the pool that was talking to you? That was Lord Archon. Can I do a the knowledge cruel. religion on that or something? Sure. Did you say cruel? The cruel. Lord, I, Lord I Archon, heard, the cruel. I saw that cold, so I heard the cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of the cool. He looks pretty cool. 22. 22? 
Um, you don't know any deities by the Ember Flame. I tell him. Name. There's no deity named. Oh, the there Ember. is. There's not. He's enormous. He is enormous. Yeah. Was Were you there? talking to your deity earlier? No. Is he a representative of a deity? No. He worships Tiamat. Okay. Who I was talking to. And he said. Have you seen the Ember Flame in person? Yes, he's enormous. Where is he? Um, he describes an island that, um, well, ever, anybody trained in history can make a history check. Okay. Oh, no. Nope. Cirque would not be rolling. Okay. Not trained. No. Nope. Proficient, rather. Uh, 18. No history. Okay. Barred. And what'd you get? <laughs> I got a 13. Okay. So you would, uh, no. There is an island that has an active volcano on it that you know is rumored to be uh, the lair of a enormous red dragon. Oh. Oh. So the Ember Flame is a red dragon. You're... Oh, okay. Um, chart that island. Red dragon? Oh, no. Do not go near it. That is, it is not, I mean, that is like a, let's not go near that island. No, it's island. exclusion zone. I'll, I'll tell you how I learned about Your it. Whole I was once on a ship. And they were like, hey, we could go that way. And they're like, that puts us within 40 nautical miles of that island, so let's go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> it's two days travel there, so, so no. <laughs> they had started, was this all the loot they had? Because they were grabbing. They brought them. loot in here. So there's bags of loot that they were going to be gathering. And what happened to them. the dwarves that were here? Because we haven't seen a big pile of bodies, right? He No. Um, he says that one, and he points to the dwarf. Uh -huh. Um he says he took them, uh, well, we took them below. Um, and uh, Nightscale is watching them. Who's who? Nightscale? You immediately know who Nightscale is, Rennie, uh, because oh. that is the name of a black dragon that killed your whole tribe. He's here. Do you want to share that information? Uh oh. That? She, but yes. She. She's here. Well, I, I would know that name too, right? Because he killed his sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you two just go into barbarian rage right now? <laughs> uh, no. 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 With more along the lines of, oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Lots of that's not good. <clears throat> okay. Like, like dragons here. Uh, one of the rare yeah. Sober there's a there's a lake. <laughs> sober sober. <laughs> there's a lake below. Um, the in the caves below that uh, the black dragons seem to enjoy. So, how this will be fun. I don't like all these dragons. How long has Night Scale been here? That's uh, he came with us, or she came with us, and she collapsed the tunnel, and then she went below. Um, she came on the boat. <clears throat> or well, she doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't need to go on Is the boat. Is that the only dragon that came with you? Yeah. Okay. And how many? <laughs> you won't really need more than one. How in never my know. experience, you never know. How many uh, hobgoblins and goblins are down below? Uh, well, the funny thing about dragons and guarding dwarves is you don't need hobgoblins and goblins. So it's just the dragon? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> just okay. the dragon. Just, just the dragon. dragon. That's all they need. Yeah. yeah. We're going to need more guys. Yeah. Um, well, it turns out um, we've got an opening for uh, crew members and there's two hobgoblins here. Uh, <laughs> you, are you going to trust one that doesn't speak common and one that can speak common in Goblin, the language that you don't speak? I mean, there's a comedy routine there, but I don't think they're interested. <laughs> no, probably not. I mean, if... Oh, all right, so... Well, they're going to turn on us if we leave them Doug, alone. why don't you make a perception check while, while we're perception? having this conversation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um... You see a dragon's head pop That would be... <laughs> no, you do not see a It's a 15, oh. and wisdom is oh, plus one, so 16. So you notice... Um, on, I would expect that at this point you've maybe pulled Vwook out of the <coughs> webs. Mm -hmm. um, he has this uh, brass cylindrical um, object on his belt. Okay. Uh, it's very ornate. Um, it's very finely tooled. Uh, it looks like it was crafted by like a dwarf or maybe a gnome that was trained in um, uh, very fine detail. Uh-huh. Um, and you recognize it. Uh, it's not on his belt anymore. <laughs> well, he's, he's happy to give it over. Um, yeah, you recognize it as okay. a spyglass okay. that once belonged to you. Where did you get this? 
Oh, I took it off of someone. Do you know how long I've been looking for I this? I killed him. <laughs> My spyglass. Hey. Mine. What? So, well, Doug, yeah, just yours. so you know, your spyglass can see through non-magical uh, weather conditions. Interesting. So when well, you're peering really through cool. it, it's as if that weather is not there. What if it's clear weather? Well, then, then I can see through it. Then it's obscured. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's obscured. No, no, it's not. Then it's foggy. Then it's just a spyglass. <laughs> so what do we want to do? Well, I start looking around for my spyglass. Just, yeah, it's all clear. There's, yeah, there's no weather. Um, <laughs> well, I think we should rest. Yes, yes. long so rest. You guys want to long rest. Search the bodies? Or? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I know. Why don't you guys look make at the an body investigation? Of an investigation. Dwyer guy. Two. Two. I don't investigate. I'm okay. not very good at it. Four. Seven. Also, also two. Are you, Aaron, are you trained in investigation? Yeah. I rolled a two. What do you get as your bonus? I get a plus three as my bonus. I get a plus five. You want to give me a bonus? Sure, I'll do that. Technically, you already rolled, but. Well, then he can have advantage. That's fine. Go ahead. No, that's fine. <laughs> All right. No, it's cool. No, I'll totally take that. Uh, 22. Okay, so twenty with a 22, you search through. Um, <coughs> Ewok has a non-magical greatsword, um, and on the body of the dwarf, he has what appears to be a holy symbol, um, which is a um, steel medallion. Um, that he ha he wears around his neck that has a uh, chain imprinted in it, like a spiraling chain. Uh, I'm gonna take it over to Sekko there. I'm like, you know stuff about religions. <laughs> he take he also has something interesting yeah, in, um, it's very well concealed on him. It is a, <laughs> a shard-like shard crystal that is black, <sighs> but <laughs> Pul pulses purple. And um, we have to return. <laughs> pulses purple. Um, would that be Arcana know what that is? Uh, it would be a very difficult Arcana check. Um, the worst kind of and if you're um, passing it around, Betty someone at the table it. knows what it is. From a Real quick, when, I, when I look at it, um, can I make a quick, is there an appraise check or something like that on here? <laughs> Uh, I don't think that it would be a praise, but you can roll Arcana or, um, well, it's probably, probably just be Arcana. Okay, I'm going to roll Arcana first because I haven't shown it to anyone yet. Sure. Uh, that's going to be a 22. Okay, so you know immediately that this is a magical, actually, in fact, why don't you make a will save, a wisdom save? Okay. Three. Okay. So it begins to speak to you. Oh. <laughs> I've heard about these things. And it says, oh, you're new. I guess I am. And like, I try half of that sentence, like whispering to myself, and half the sentence in my head and see if it picks up when the whole sentence. When he starts whispering, uh -huh. Corbin walks over. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that voice. He puts it in his pocket. <laughs> well, hold on. No. That, that seemed like a nice voice. No, that's not the voice that's for the you. That's the kind of voice that promises you great things <laughs> or mild things. Like, no, maybe it's... screwing over a guy here or a guy there. So you immediately know what it is. Can I concentrate on it? Oh, yeah. It's 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 stop talking to him. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my Fine. pocket. You don't want that. That's not for you. Put me with the others. Yeah. All right, but that increases your debt to me. Now you owe me gambling debts and some sort of cool crystal thing <laughs> that you won't let me have. <laughs> Picks up a rock. He's like, "Congratulations!" <laughs> this one doesn't goes talk. Off, and I throw it at the wall. <laughs> Rocks are harder. supposed to talk. <laughs> so um, they do. They just sound like two rocks. So also, um, who had that? The dwarf. Um, Does that now? Another thing I wanted to point that out. We'd been searching for stuff. Did you ever tell me what it looks like that we're looking for? Did you ever find something uh, with? with because we, we were no, on the treasure. We hunt have together. never found something. We have never found a piece before. Yeah. Okay. Um, because otherwise the deal would have been up right there. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they meet. I mean, I have found pieces yeah. right. with other previous partners. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And where are those partners? Um, depends. <laughs> okay. Good to so, know. Part over here, part <laughs> over there. Okay. Just depends. Have a nice There's retirement. Over there. There. <laughs> so you Knowledge, need a long rest religion. to recoup everything? Let's take my spells back, yeah. Uh, yeah. If I'm going up against a dragon, I'd like to have... We're all tapped. We've got, we got checks making over does here. There's an 18 knowledge religion on the Dwergar's 
Um, that, um, so you know that as a symbol of a lesser known deity called the Chained God. Okay. And what That's do we know sound. about the chain god? Of the chain god. Um, <laughs> he is not widely worshipped because his power is <gasps> oh, no. very um, minimal. Because he's locked up in the clink. That seems clink. like a terrible thing. So, to yeah. <laughs> also on Vwook, Vwook offers this freely <laughs> because he is friendly with you. Uh, he has notes. Um, that he has scribbled down in Goblin. And he's like, I will translate these for you. Oh, that'd be fantastic, buddy. Thank you. Do you want some mail? Absolutely. Let me get some. Um, let's talk stuff? about me living through this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're going to discuss that over ale. Okay. So he drinks and he spends, if you're going to take a long rest, he, he says, you know, um, every night that we don't go visit uh, Night Scale, he's going to, uh, he's been instructed to eat, or she's been instructed to eat dwarves. But if you guys want to drink ale, sure. And he, st <laughs> uh, he starts drinking ale, and he starts tr translating the his writing to Goblin, and it looks like. I mean, it looks like. Okay. Bad. Can you? His handwriting isn't good, especially in common. Can this is you second. Can the language. whole like make yourself a hobgoblin thing? What does he oh. have to do to visit Night Scale? Um. Basically, they have to go give the okay, thumbs okay. up. So Too me and sweet. him could go down. And give the thumbs up. Yeah. They buy us tonight. I mean, yeah, except rangers. for the fact Night that he's a dragon, and I don't know if he can see through my illusion or not. Oh. Well, no, if you don't I'm come sure back, I guess we assume that the, the dragon. Does, well, does well, more no, than one no, person no, no, no. Have, can he go down and just be like, we're good? He, yeah, he could go down we, and do that. that he's willing to do it too for you too. How long does Charm person live? I know. Okay. All right. I mean, he'd have to have failed again to. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go with him up to a point. Okay. Okay. So, um, is anybody else going with the two of them? Well, we're not going yet. We're talking about yeah. what we're doing. I know. I just want to kind of get can, the plan. I can try to be sneaky. It's not going to be I'm not sneaky. Are, are we going to do this sneaky. and then take a long rest? Are we going to take, take a long rest while that's going on? Well, if, if we, we take a long rest, him, they they're going to eat dwarves. Right. So, right. we got to right. do this before we... First. Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. Do that so, first. he just walks down... Gives a thumbs up, mm -hmm. and then what is Night Scale supposed to do? Not Nothing. eat dwarves. Nothing. Yeah. So you guys go down together. Is anybody coming up with? with I will. I'll just. Corbin? I'll come down, but I'll stay out of. Yeah, I mean, we'll you get an idea. Even go down as, as <coughs> Do we need to be? If he's going to lead the way. This is not a trap, by the way. This is just no, me getting yeah, an idea of who's my going with you. Friend too. And yeah, absolutely. The other thing I want to know is like, are there any sentries? Are there any traps? Is there? As he's going down, if he could just point stuff out. Yeah, absolutely. He's he'll he'll act as tour guide. Cool. He's like, that's where we killed a dwarf, and over here is also where we killed another one. We captured that one, but we cut off his foot. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, he says over there we saw something in that cave with the the mushrooms. You can see that there are five goblins that tried to get to that something. They're no longer living, I think. Oh. Um, the and then he gets to a the opening of a, an enormous cave. It looks like it's a lake. Um, the ground is uh, is is kind of slick from the moisture of the lake and the rushing of the water. It's kind of as you're kind of traversing these tunnels. There is a there is an underground river that feeds into this lake. Um, and he lights a torch, and he's like, okay, we're good to go. Okay. Um, he says, the dwarves are in the <coughs> middle. They don't swim so good, at least not as fast as night scale swims, so. Oh, sure, I can see that. Yeah. You wanna head back? Yeah. So he, um, so the area that, what it looks like is, um, there is a large lake, big cavernous uh, canopy above uh, of slag tights, tights down, mm -hmm. yes. mites are up. Um, and uh, there is a bridge, a stone bridge to the, uh, to a smaller island. And then there is a boat on the far side of the smaller island that they have taken, they have ferried the dwarves out to the okay. um, center of the lake. Um, with that, 
it's a good time to take a break so that we can change the map, and we will be right back. Woo!
We have video? Good. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back. Um, so, as you're taking a long rest, um, Viewook translates his notes, um, and he um, it only takes him about an hour or so. Uh, who wants to read Viewook's notes when when they're done? You? Sure. Okay. If you'll let me, I'm definitely going to try and read over your shoulder. Okay. Sure. So um, there are um, so basically he's written down um, other potential sites uh, to plunder. Um, one of the sites is. Uh, well, both of them are on islands. They're in the Pirate Islands. Um, one of them, um, he specifically calls out, um, has is identified by a ruby, a ruby beam of light that shoots up into the sky uh, that he believes the island has um, lost artifacts there of great power to cause such an effect. Um, he also notes something about um, a creature by the name of Lord Ruined Eins. And the other one is a mine on a separate island um, that he notes ha um, is inhabited by large lizards and savage humanoids, which he tells you is savage humans. Um, humans. Um, and he says that um, the, the Dwergar told him that there was treasure on that island. Um, he also offers to share the spoils of the the raid on the 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 Rumble Tide Dwarves with you. Oh, that seems fantastic. like a good deal. It pulls over gigantic bags of treasure. <laughs> um, I think we would have made those go disappear during the night. Um, what were so, we getting paid for this job? Everything we find. I, be I believe. I think that was the deal. The yeah. offer was two hundred gold pieces. Of Everything piece. we find. Yep, that is one hundred percent the offer. Mm -hmm. I think it was 200 gold pieces a piece. Uh, I'm sorry, three people here are remembering everything we find, so I think we I should I mean, go you guys can do consensus. whatever you want. Um, Garadil, we'll just talk about who's the standing dwarves, right there, yeah, like it. who's resting with you guys, is like, uh, see my Crag off, Crag's offer, but okay. I mean, sure. It's you guys want to talk to Crag no, about it? No, it's fine. We'll it's 200 gold piece. That's Same perfectly okay. acceptable. Mm -hmm. While the dwarf is sleeping, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you just slit his throat. And then... oh, no, just like you know, <laughs> start really... divvying out piles. No, just there's a little bit of less treasure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe just skim from the top on a sure. couple of them. Sure, yeah. maybe. Um, so the the next day, um, you wake up and um, Doo -doo -doo -doo. and you level up. That <laughs> hey. is the sound. Um, and um, Vwook. Is like, can I have my sword back? Yeah. Okay, so you give him his sword. Um, during the night, can I deal with the crystal fragment? Yeah, you can take your time. It's only going to take you an hour to do the ritual. Okay. So, I'll do that, and then and then I, that disappears, and then I get rewarded. You do get rewarded. Yeah. Um, Where did that? That's oh. creepy. And yeah. and so, what when you complete your ritual, the. the um, the voice that spoke to you before is like, see, I told you. So you just stick with these guys. They'll lead you yeah, to where you, you need to go. You keep saying a lot of things. <laughs> Even what are you talking to? And then I take the flask out and start chugging. <laughs> <laughs> Even some of it is my friends. <laughs> Even okay. when you say stuff to my friends. So, yeah. Viewook, um, you're leaving the other hobgoblin behind. Garadil will offer to stay behind and watch him. So that he <laughs> I'll bet he will. Doesn't disappear. Well, he watch so where's Virog? bags, too. <laughs> Well, it's his treasure, like it's the treasure of his people. So yeah, yeah absolutely, he'll watch. Um, Where's Vwok going? With us. He's okay. Going with you guys. Yeah. Okay. With his greatsword. Okay. And he, yeah. you guys, let him rest overnight, right? So yeah. he's back at full hit points. Yeah. Okay. okay sweet. Why did we do this again? <laughs> he's joining the crew. Well, he's we he's helping us out here. Okay. We need minions. We do not need more minions. We need so, more able-bodied members. When we get to the dragon, what's Vwok willing to do? Uh, he's willing to call to the dragon. Okay. He's willing to... If it appears as though you guys are winning, he's <laughs> willing to fight with you. Why don't That's you make an fair. insight check? <laughs> well, Seems legit. what was he getting paid to... Um, 
he was just doing it because he was the doing it. He to was the, for the dragon. raid leader for so this. So what's his what's his share as a raid leader? Of the treasure? Uh, Amongst the forty, well, he was, he's oh. bringing the treasure back to the Ember Flame, which you knew. Right. So he wasn't getting there. fifteen on my roll. Um, you feel like he's going to be pretty self-serving in this. Um, oh, I could do an insight check, I guess. But... He's going to be really self-serving. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah. He... You get the sense that he has seen people that have... Uh, or goblins that have not done what Nightscale wanted them to do, and now they're puddles of goblins. Mm. So, um, he's... He's willing to call out to the, the dragon. Yeah. And again, if it appears that you're winning, he might join you in killing the dragon. If so, so he'll, he'll call out to the dragon and then he won't attack us? Sure. Yeah. And if it looks like we're winning, he might jump in to help us he might. finish things off? He might do that. <clears throat> okay. I mean, that's Seems pretty friendly. Can I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just want to get this clear with everybody. Are we planning to fight a fucking dragon? <laughs> <laughs> So that's it, not what I signed up for. I would like to get the dwarves and get the hell out of that's here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But the, the, but the dragon's, dragon's guarding, guarding the dwarves. The dwarves. Um, so we need to scare off the dragon. Or, or we have or, our friend yeah. call the dragon and try to sneak the dwarves out. So I mean, wasn't the... the Didn't he say that the dwarger was going to take the dwarves? The yeah, into the Underdark, yeah. So if he just walks up and says, hey, we're going to take the dwarves... And no. um, I look, look like, like a dwarf. the dwarf. I'm just worried that the dragon's going to come up and yeah. smell me. Mm -hmm. 15 knowledge, or 15 arcana, what do I know about black dragons? They breathe acid. Okay. <laughs> um, they're at the top of the food chain. Uh, okay, figure that. Um, How hard is it to bluff them with a dwarf disguise? I mean... They known for you know for about a, especially you. You know about a halfling that was able to uh, hide from a dragon in its lair, okay. and um, that had a magic ring, though. What? Yeah, it was. A, he's an amazing. It was a cousin. He's an amazing I'm thief. About <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. We're talking about that's halfling. That's halfling. <laughs> halfling. <laughs> halfling cousin halfling. of mine. <laughs> halfling cousin. So Got lots of cousins. It's been done. He was a burglar, wasn't he? So yeah. I guess so if, was I. if he's willing to come up to the bridge and say, hey, we're here for the you know, the dwarves, and I look like the warger, but like maybe I'm back here. Okay. Like, you know, he's here uh -huh. and I'm like back here and I'm okay. like, hey, dwarf. <laughs> speak dwarf. Um <laughs> Hey dwarf, 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 yeah. dwarf. <laughs> dwarf beard, beard, maybe, no, that's not we're like dwarf talk. They say back beard, beard, there, beard, a little beard, farther beard, beard, around beard. the corner. Yeah. Ugh. So that if I mean, do go if south. we're ready to fight, that's great. Um, if we can avoid man, it. it'd be great if we could just get these dwarves yeah. out for without fighting guys a... out of here without so, yes. the dragon. So, before we go any further, how does Ren feel about uh, not fighting the dragon? Um, I look around at the group, and I'm like, today may not be the day nature has selected us to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you mean, yeah. we're, you not, mean, we're not. We're not. Wait, yet. win. So, when you shapeshift now, do you shapeshift into a chicken? Or? <laughs> oh. Fortunately are, for me, now he just gets to keep on? his I'm intelligence gonna make, score above four. When he <laughs> gonna make an I'm pretty sure they make minis that allow me to. I'm going to make an insight check here. Okay. How much glory would we bring to Umberley by slaying <laughs> this dragon? <laughs> That's only an eight. <laughs> oh. You would bring so much glory, yeah. and it's I'm probably gonna... really easy to do. You know what? I don't know. You know I, am, I am the so chosen of So you want to know Umberley. how much more glory you would bring if you fought the dragon so that we could get the dwarves out, and then we'll happily least, join you to finish the fight? At least one <laughs> round of glory. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking a pirate flag made out of a black dragon scale would be pretty fierce. Right? That would be pretty fierce. That would be, be, that be really is, dope. We got to... Uh, uh, yeah. But no. <laughs> So, Rin's um, take but is it would be Ruby and Crescent that dragon will have to die. Oh. However, he knows yeah. that based doing. on yeah. nature's order, so mm -hmm. that if the, we are not ready to fight the dragon, then we will die. So, okay. Or we could um, just go in and charge. I mean, clearly the DM destroy. thinks we're powerful enough. <laughs> I say we try. I, don't know. I mean, I set up 
I set up some terrain. <laughs> so it does, you guys don't have to fight on it, check. I suppose. What, oh, what right. kind of check would it be? I mean, <laughs> I got a 15 on my so Arcana to, get, to see what I know about How black large dogs. is the dragon? We and I've obviously that. seen us in combat. Mm -hmm. So what would it be to get a sense of whether or not we could take on a black dragon? It's possible. Would it be an insight? Would it be? Sure, insight. That's how it works. So that's a 16 insight. It's definitely possible. <laughs> Guys, we can do this. It's within the realm sure. of possibility. So let's change it up. So we'll have him call it out, and okay. I'll still look like the Dwarger, and we'll try to distract him to one side, and then we can see if people can You guys can don't get have to fight the dragon. I let's was try to deceive no, Let's no, try to deceive him. Uh-oh. If the... <laughs> oh, sorry. That's not an idea. Hold on. <laughs> so I'm wait. like, okay, I'm okay. like maybe let me make an wait. insight check. Is anything that he thinks is a good idea? <laughs> a good idea? idea. Really? There was the flying elbow. Pretty, that's 23. You're <laughs> not convinced. You're also his brother. History, history is not on my side, I am aware. <laughs> okay, so what's your plan? So we have v will go up. You do your, mm -hmm. I'm a Dwergar. Please, mm -hmm. dwarves, come this and way. Let me see what happens. <laughs> no, then we tell the dragon that Vwook's a traitor, he uses his breath weapon on Vwook, and then now he doesn't have breath weapon. It's true. For at least a little while. Do you really think And he then we run away like with all the dwarves. Do you think he's going to trust the part about killing me him. as an illusionary dwarf? <laughs> This guy is. I trust you. If I remember, <laughs> <laughs> <That's great thinking. laughs> this guy is part of. They brought the dragon with them. Mm -hmm. They worship a giant red dragon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking there's probably some tightness there. Yeah. I think Maybe. there's there's some. I think they're tight. More so than a, a deep dwarf who. Has this dragon smelled you before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your breath aware. smells the part of a dwarf, <laughs> so, right? Do you guys have prestidigitation? <laughs> that dwarf smells very bad. It's like the cleric. Version. You smell very bad. You smell like that dwarf. <laughs> let's try the. Let's set okay. him up. Actually, hold on. Okay, if we're gonna do this, just we still have close. we still have the doors closed, right? Yeah, just wear his clothes. Oh I can. Gosh. No, I can put them not like wear them because clearly size difference, but mm -hmm. I can have them tied on me, mm -hmm. yeah. like Under to your, try and hide my scent stuff. a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's With, see if we can. Let's see if the deception part works. Okay. Also, so uh, why don't we do this? This is more of a rules question, real quick, about that question. Okay. If he's going to do that, and if I'm around a corner, or I just give him a pep talk, can I use my deception skill to help give him advantage on any rolls he has to make? So what I was going to do for the the illusion and that whole thing is. I'll allow you guys to make a deception check, um, and whoever is highest in that can be. If, if multiple people are trained in dece deception, you can have advantage on the check um, to set up the illusion. Um, if you're going to try to Cyrano no de Bergerac this thing, <laughs> there is going to be uh, a a bonus to the deception. Can you cast message or sending? That's or, why I was asking okay. whether rules-wise it was okay to do it preemptively. So the dragon yeah. will have a bonus to perceive. Detective. You whispering in his ear. Yeah. Well, that's I, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be whispering in his ear. Right, that's no. Like that. Or down the I top. mean, I could cast guidance and give you a d4 to your check as well. Well, I can give you inspiration, too. I'm just... Two days down. So I can't start disguise with deception. myself, otherwise I would try yeah. to. Yeah. So we start with deception. If yeah. it goes awry, then we... Then we go in. Yeah. And back inspiration up. stack with guidance. Do you get the d4 and the d6? Mm, I believe so. I don't... Yeah. Because inspiration isn't listed as a specific bonus. It's just inspiration. Um, so Vwook leads you back down to the caves, and you can stop at any point. It's a very long tunnel. He points out... Um, you know, the, the highlights, the dwarf, the dead dwarves, Thanks. and um, uh, he points out the mushroom room. Um, we should check that out. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude, there's, there's some Just a mushroom there. forest area or something? Yeah, it's fine. Let's we'll we'll check that dead out. dead goblins. Five dead goblins? Nature yeah. provides. <laughs> clear not points. Full, the room's not Are you dangerous. looking at all into there or no? No. I mean, we can look from the doorway, right? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I bet there's some fun <laughs> guys in there. Was that. Um, why don't is there, you... is the, is that a big room or is it just a, like, how much room is there? Man. Ah. 
Wow. Uh, <laughs> so to be honest, this one is that? not growing on me. Why don't you make a percent? Oh, God. <laughs> Why don't you make a perception check? <laughs> who's who's got a perception? I, who's perception? I, I'm, I'm trained, trained in perception. You're My, trained? Yeah. So I, who's got the highest perception? I have a I'm a plus seven. Three. You have this is not going to be an assistant seven. perception. Right. This okay. is going to be straight perception. All right. For right. Each there you go. Then if everybody. Anyone that wants I, to look. I, I want to look. Right. Dead goblins right there. Thirteen. <laughs> Twenty-three. Okay. Nineteen. It's nice. that. Fifteen. Okay. Um. So. Making your way through the winding passage, um, and I've got dark vision. Uh, you come across a uh, a field of fungus with several five we've established dead goblins. Um, what you uh, anybody that got above fifteen sees beyond uh, what lured the goblins into the fungus. There is an old skeleton in rusted mail that lies partially submerged into in a carpet of brown mold. In the uh, skeleton's bony grasp is a great axe, the head of it which uh, glints in the illumination that you carry, which I believe there's at least one person mm -hmm. that is carrying something. Yeah, that yes. needs to carry yeah. illumination. Oh, so sweet. There's an axe in there. All right, moving on. Cool. Right, well, wait, there's an axe in there. How far and away five the dead axe? goblins. Yeah. Um, it is probably 30 feet. I'll do a nature check. Okay. And then... Ah, 23, nat 20. Okay, nat 20. You recognize um, the uh, the fungus and the mold as, <coughs> as a particularly uh, virulent form of mold. Um, and knowing what you know about it, um, uh, fire kills the mold. Fire? Yeah. Fire, you say? Yep. Fire. That's what I say. Um, wait, wait, hold wait. Hold on. Before you set an entire field on <laughs> no, 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 just one square at a time. Let us path. do what we came here to do, do which is lure the dragon out. Okay. He's been you listening. create an imbalance in nature by setting a fire, which therefore will be attracting the dragon, or at least the dragon will know that something is unsafe. What if we use the goblins as stepping stones and jump from goblin to goblin? You're certainly Shipwreck. welcome to try that. <laughs> fire. <laughs> we, burn, we burn the mold, then it's the fire ideas, brother. No, fire's good. <laughs> what? It's a good fire idea. Fire is always good. Fire is always the we place. Can, no we can way use we them as skis. This. We can use them as stepping stones. But half-baked. That... I don't Let know. Let me tell you, you what else yourself? you know, Frank. Okay. Um, so, uh... That's your call. Touching the, um, okay. mold would create a cloud uh, in a approximately 10 foot by 10 foot cube um, that would deal damage that's poisonous. Okay. We can come back for the ax. Let's deal with nature's what is, imbalance. It's not going anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. You get to set fire to a dragon. Are, How's that? I can do both. I can't, I got to fire. They're resistant. resistant to poison. <coughs> but. Oh, well, I'll just send a dwarf in here later and get it. There we go. Or what, the axe itself might be useful in fighting the dragon. Who uses an axe? I don't know. Him? Oh. He no longer. He has in the past. <laughs> <laughs> he did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but and I noticed that now it's on his back, and he keeps doing this. Yeah. Punch, punch. <laughs> punch. He had one of the goblin bodies up and was <laughs> who had the great doing sword? combos. Vuok had the great sword. Vuok could take the great. Let's axe. contend <laughs> with the dragon. <clears throat> And then you can set things on fire. Does All right. I also there will be fire, though. There will yeah? definitely will be fire. All right. The giant black jagged greatsword. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Shall we? Does it shine with purple light? I mean, sure. When I'm not disguised as a dwarger. Did, okay. Did you did you put that crystal in water and it grew into a magical weapon? Overnight. <laughs> <laughs> and you took it away. Uh, that's raising the tab. <laughs> Because okay. now I know it makes you in the head with a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> Fade. It bangs off one of my horns. Wait. I'm like, hey. Okay. Hey. So you come to the opening of the tunnel. Yes. Uh, the tunnel you're following exits onto another ledge that winds to the southwest alongside a very large lake, apparently the source of the underground river. Ooh. The cavern is quite large. Uh, the lake, uh, the lake's far shore is lost in shadow, and echoes of water uh, seem to indicate a very sizable cave. A short distance um, offshore sits a uh, sits an aisle uh, thirty or forty feet across. Uh, stalactites thrust from uh, stalagmites thrust from the 
the floor and the stalactites uh, thrust from the ceiling above. Uh, the dark waters lap at the shores. Uh, the clinking of chains can be heard across the water. A small rowboat rests at the edge of the shore on the far side of a sturdy stone bridge. So there's a rowboat sitting right over here. Far side. So far side of that. Over there. Here. Yeah. I say, where do you usually call the dragon to? Well, funny thing about dragons. Um, I don't, I ask. Where do you usually ask from? And I just signal from here. He shows what he did with you. Um, he says, I signal here to make sure that the dragon is not eating the dwarves because the dwargar would be unhappy. Um, and that is about it. Um, the dragon has told me that it can get in and out of here by itself. Oh, well, yeah, more than likely underneath the lake. Are the okay. dwarves over here? Dwarves are over. Oh, dwarves oh, are okay. way okay. far this way. Okay. It is a cavernous want, lake. What do you want to have him try and call the dragon? Oh, he's just telling them we're here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So... It blows out the light, and he says, we're here. Okay. Does the rest of the family come out? Um, yeah. So if we were going to go get the dwarves, we would take the rowboat over, throw a couple dwarves in, come mm -hmm. back? Is that... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Yes, it does. All right. Well, that's too what did I say before? There was 20? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's 20 dwarves. It looks like the rowboat can fit 10. Okay. So two trips. No, three trips. Three trips. Three we have a fit. fox and a chicken and a bag of <laughs> grain. <laughs> so I guess we'll try and go to the rowboat. Okay. okay. So he, um, do you want him to light the torch to call the dragon over? What do you, how, sure. how yeah. what are you telling the to do? Just light the torch, tell him we're taking the prisoners now. Okay. And then we'll leave. All or right. We're, we're getting the prisoners. He doesn't have to guard them anymore if he wants to move on. Okay. So he will um, get my black sail that way. Oh, I know. All the treasures and bags. Another day. Ready to go. We'll Today's a good day. No, All right. So he um, he lights the torch. He signals to Night Scale, and okay. he um, says, "We are." Ready to go. We've got all of the, the gold packed, and the Dwergar, my good friend, the Dwergar Corvin here, is ready to take the dwarves, and you can go back to the ship, he says. And the dragon will go ahead and sense his motive, or make an insight check. And that's it. Okay. Do you want to make a perception check? Sure. 13. Okay. You see um, what appears to be movement in the water, a uh, displacement of a... I think maybe it's a crocodile or something. Something, you know, like, I used this example before. Has everybody here seen Lake Placid? No? Yeah, at some everybody point. here seen Jaws? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, something <coughs> about that size is moving in the water, it appears. Yeah. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's going to um, take three trips. You, you can give this to Doug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so, um, what do you want to do? I'm going to step up to V-Walk. Okay. And be like, um, what was the Dwarker's name? Oh, uh, his name was Rustbeard. Yeah, you just called me Corbin. Oh, damn! <laughs> you should go jump in the lake. <laughs> and then I rolled like shit on his deception check. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, stay here. I'm gonna talk to the guys, see if we can keep the bluff going. And I'm gonna walk <laughs> time for fire. How far back see up the tunnel you are you going? Keep I'm going around going. the corner at the very least. Oh, okay, okay. So. Um, so just just for for my purposes, how far away? Are you guys set up? Because he needs light, so you would at least need to be. It throws thirty bright light, thirty feet. Sixty-five. Oh, hold on. Plus. I, I've got dancing lights, so I can use the dancing lights behind okay. me to cast a shadow to keep from spoiling. I know the illusion. I know that you guys are smart enough to try to. Mm -hmm. And I can cast to, light because I, I can stay in dim light and be just fine. So, so I'm at 50, the edge yeah. of mine. Let's say fifty yeah. feet. Fifty okay. feet. Okay. So you walk. Do you walk back up to them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that would be like my turn. How to go? Sure. Oh, he, there was a, a pooch. <laughs> uh, fornication. What uh, <laughs> why, why are Hobgoblins so I, weird? It's a term. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just so, oh, breathe. <laughs> I think that's 
v walk. Um, I say not good. You hear a hobgoblin Let's scream? Let's go get <laughs> And then a splashing noise. And you then and then it gets real quiet again. We, let's go get the sail. It's, it's all. <laughs> get my flag and sail, guys. So this is this is the point where we're going to fight an aware dragon. It's fine. Surprise I mean, was never our thing anyway. The dragon is in the it's water. The shot. water is the we... realm of my goddess. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nothing to fear. We gave it a we good have try, guys. We could go back with all that solid try. Every day they are gone because the dragon's guarding them, and not <laughs> one man would tell me I'm a coward. Coward. I would call you. You're a not a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and I, scratch I have... off it. <laughs> Our I list of allies sure is anatomically correct. Our list of allies grows. Thin. All right. So what are we gonna I do? I have a halfling though. What's the plan? Fire. We're gonna go kill a dragon, and we try to. Make it a yeah. Let's let's at least see if we can even make it close to the dwarfs. If yeah, okay. cross the bridge first. Okay. Uh, all right. So you're making your way back in. Who's who's on the lead? Is there any wild shaping going on or buffing of spells? Uh, you know, if you can, mage armor would have been cast. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you woke up. Yes. On the edge of the ceiling and down to the other island. Yeah, but what does that get us if we need the boat to? Um, bring, um, the ceiling here is about. 80 feet up in places. No. But so you, if you're a spider, you could flying elbow off at the top. Oh, and Do you, you have anything transform. that would give it disadvantage on you saves? Also, can no, you can see saves. if the dwarves I have, can start trying to flee the and island saves. while we're right. keeping them busy. And the problem is all those spells that you, you want me to go that way? To fail for those? Or you could jump in on this. See that? Yeah, that's my problem. Action. I want some dragon. Okay, get in on the dragon action. We need to get in on some dragon action. Yep. All right. So uh, my only buff will be bark skin. Okay. So you're gonna cast bark skin. Yeah. How are you gonna cast your aid spell? Are you gonna give the party aids? <laughs> Everybody's got aids, aids, aids. aids. <laughs> uh, yes, method man. Adam is twisting the X-Bone. No, because I can only do guidance. <laughs> I'm doing what? Uh, twisting the X-Bone to one person at a time. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Why? And it's only for. Jackie's um, making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> it's only for a. Uh, Why is that? We're in a dungeon. <laughs> skill Clearly. Check. <clears throat> skill okay. checker, I say. Clearly. Okay. Uh, I can do shield of faith, and I'm trying to decide if I should do that to me or to our tank. Who's your tank? He's the tank. I'm the tank now. Yeah. You both have 18 AC, right? Yeah. He takes more. He takes half damage. So. Oh, okay. So I'll give myself a shield. So are we face. moving... I am the meat shield. So what <laughs> order are we moving out in? Well, let's roll initiative first, okay. and we'll okay. figure that out. So I'm casting shield of faith on myself. Does any be anybody beat a 20? No. Nope. Okay. Are we just rolling initiative here? All right. I gotta so you guys can that. set your order yeah. for how you go into the room. Uh, <clears throat> you are certainly free to prepare. I would kind of like to know what you've prepared, like if you're going to do your ice armor, Corvin. I am. Yeah. Okay. You, are you bark gonna, skin. You're going to bark skin, but are you going to be shaped too? No, no. I will not okay. shape. I um, shape as a bonus, so. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> um, no need to do it before. You're, I'm before assuming you're not raged. No. And <laughs> anything for you? Okay. I, anything for you? I have nothing to do. And nothing for you. <laughs> okay. I just show up. So, uh, uh, I, the only oh, I buffing I have is I'm considering everyone. I'm like, listen, I'm just saying. But what would that do? If I die, don't check that's, for my body, just leave. Because I probably before. left. I'm going to be honest, I probably left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fair. So we'll do yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. So. Just take care of So I'm going to give Bless, which is a 1d4 to my your one attack roll. My one thing I going to do is For who? For I just green puddle. You? Crap madness on him to make him attack the dragon. And for you. And for you. Are you going to make direct attacks? Um, I have the capability. He probably Ooh. won't. I need to choose three of my I, allies to give a 1d4 bonus to for attack rolls. I, I'm a I good can one. do, I yeah, can no, do no. a direct attacks. This level I can do a d8 plus 2d6 on. So attacks. I'll do the three of you. Okay. So that'll give you a 1d4 on your first right. attack and with, within the next minute. So. Okay. Who's walking in first? What's going to be our order? I, me, I guess. Okay. And, shield. and then shipwreck. Yep. Since we're fighting a dragon, are we spreading out? Yeah. I would yes. assume we're, we're going to do the I thought you'd want to be in a patterns. line like yeah. coming Maybe. in. I'll go in oh, on the other side. Yeah, I'll be going in uh, stealthily then. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try way. to be sneaky. So, oh, hold on. 
What are we doing? We'll do it by initiative. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, um, so Ren, where are you moving to? I'm not moving in until he moves in. So he's oh, holding. so he's so you're in. So I got a I got a twenty. Okay. So that means. So, so it means I'd be the first one you're to go. You're the first one to go. But you could you guys can move in. In the order that you want, but but if okay. we, well, it looks like it'd be me and and shipwreck going in, sure. and then the dragon would you, have it. I would be fine with all of us waiting until they go. And yeah, well, yeah, that's okay. Be the so point. shipwreck, what do you do? Yeah. Shipwreck so, and so shipwreck. Do you want to go right or left when you come in? I'm gonna go to to the right. Yeah. To, do you go like? Yep. Do you go like this when you move in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this means. I'm gonna so go. Are ahead. you going thirty? Are you double moving? Will um, you? I want to get cover from that stalactite. And I want to get in here. Yep. Behind the other one. Okay. Okay. And you want to be over here? <laughs> yeah, between okay. those two. Or... You got it. Like that? Yep. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to cast destroy water and you destroy two, all the water in the lake. You two nice. make perception checks. All right. Perception. Seventeen. Okay. Twenty-two. Okay. You again see ripples in the water, like is this a Where? large Where shape? Um, it's going to be on this side. I'm standing uh, yeah, him. over there. <laughs> yeah. Standing him. That <laughs> used to be Viewer. Yep. Uh, okay, Ren. Oh, I got Viewer in my shoes. Ren, it's your turn. Uh, all right, so I'll come in. I'll come to there. Okay. Are you stealthing or? Um. Might as well try. Sure. Are you stealthing? Super stealth. Oh, yeah. Here. Uh, seven still. So oh, not oh, so much. Good. Four. I got a Well, you four. got disadvantage, so you have to roll that again and take the lower. Hey, guys, one. cover me. <laughs> Tumble through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Corvin. Oh, I am waiting in the hallway until the dragon shows up. Okay. Xenos? Um, you can wait in the hallway Corvin until the, the dragon brave. shows up. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I no want to I wanna see the... No. You want to see it come out of the water? Yeah. So I'm going to go try to... Try to hide behind. <laughs> Actually, <Fur bulk. laughs> can I hide behind that rock right there? Sure. You'll stop the breath weapon. And I'll be stealthy about it. Pink. No, I won't. Super stealthy. There. You do your, have your halfling luck. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that. Oh, there Ooh. you go. Much better. So that's a twenty-three. It's yeah. pretty lucky. You're really stealthy. Yeah. All right. Do you want to be uh, in the water? No. Be on top of that. I said hiding behind the rock here, not okay. up the little. Zaga. Uh. He's running 30 feet. Um, when, you, when you stealth, is it half movement? It's up to you. Do I get a disadvantage if I take more There's than a half penalty. Movement? Oh, that's just what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm going to stealth there. Okay. All right. And then let me give you that roll. Not great. Ten. Okay. All right. Shipper. Well, head up the bridge. Yeah. How okay. far? Uh, there's uh, two, three, four, five, six. So move me another six. Okay. Well, right there, I guess. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> when you get there, you can make a perception check. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Sixteen or seventeen. Um, you notice that. The part of the bridge that you're currently on looks really sturdy. The part of the bridge that is spanning the the Water. cross uh, looks like it's a little pitted. Like it's been breathed on, maybe? Uh, oh. It looks like if someone was familiar with how acid works, yeah. um, it could kind of try to disguise Not so good. the structure, the... All right, so I guess I'm in an athletics check. Okay. To go boop. You're going to jump? Yeah. Okay. That is a 22. Okay, so you jump quite a bit. Whee! Yeah, is that? Uh, no. Uh, let's go two away from the end. There, right there. Right there. All right. Yeah, so you land right there. And it kind of... It's not super steady. It's like uh, if you were to walk across like uh, scaffolding. Oh, so it's a little it's, rickety. It's rickety, yeah. So that's it, Sarsero. This, this is wobbly, guys. Um, you want to go to the edge? You be like, hey, dragon, dragon, dragon. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm gonna move up 
uh, just to behind that other shorter stalactite. <laughs> okay. Are you doing anything? Ready in action? Anything? Yeah, I'll ready in action to cast Thunder Wave if the dragon comes up into into, the, in, into range. Okay. All right. Um, at that point, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. At that point, the dragon f flies down from <coughs> the ceiling. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> you guys are all concentrating on the water. Well, there's something that's swimming in it. That are, there appeared to be, yes. Dragons can cast spells, too. Um, Where's it landing? <laughs> so I, it's going to I get to a... You guys, are, you guys happen to be in a line. Um, we happen... Well, Frank, yes. Frank and Sarsarel, or Sarsarel and Rennie happen to be in a line at that So is that where he's landing there? Yep. Oh, he's, he's floating down. I mean, okay. really, any oh, two dude, Just run up on him, jump on his back, yeah. kill him in his yeah. head. Yeah, exactly. There's <clears throat> two points. Is all you need. Um, so why don't you guys go ahead and like make <laughs> dexterity saving throws because reflex is not a thing. Right, 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 right. Hmm. This is my best save. Yeah? Six. Oh. That's your total? Yeah, I rolled uh, a six. Eighteen. <laughs> Eight, eighteen. <laughs> so. Well, the math is easy. <laughs> Sarsarel. Okay, so Sarsarel. <laughs> yes. Uh, you do not save. I know this surprises you. What? No, I don't know about uh, that. Rennie, mm -hmm. you got an 18? Yeah. Okay, you save. So it breathes. It just opens its mouth and just Bomb acid. Just acid. <laughs> um, and does not feel good. Um, Howard, Sarsarel goes ahead and takes uh, 38 acid damage. Sarsarel is dead. He's not dead. You're just you had negative. 30. You had, no, no, no. So there's no negatives. Oh, that's true. So you're at zero. Okay. So I'm. I'm you take uh, half of that. Fifteen. 15. No, it's thirty-eight. Oh, so. it's thirty-eight. Oh. Oh yeah. So. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. So I'm at zero. Okay. Ouch. Did, did you uh, did you not get hit three? points when you leveled? You, did you level up to three? So much for survival of the fittest. No, I did not. Why don't you roll your hit you points wanna, before you... Or do you take the fixed them out? I would normally take... I'm not a die roller, but I'll go ahead and... Oh, hey. oh, oh wow. yeah. <laughs> Good day to be a die roller. Sir, yeah. Yeah. Today. So how many hit points do you have now, Frank? Eight. 25. Very far. <laughs> <laughs> plus his con. Well, I mean... Yeah, plus your con. Okay. Yeah, but so, kind of so Frank, you time. you immediately know how your tribe could have died to this dragon. Yeah. It just knocked out your cleric in one breath. I'm sure it's fine. And Frank, it is now Rennie's turn. Chosen of Umberly. You killed my brother. Prepare to die. Uh, yeah, I'm looking oh up how gosh. grappling works. So it is a 30 foot line. So it would be within 30 feet of Frank. Flying. You can heal, right? Uh, we can heal. You can and heal. I can heal, yeah. And I'm going to tell you, survival of the smartest today. <laughs> <laughs> you point towards the door? <laughs> I'll heal, and then that's where I'm going. <laughs> it, Frank, it looks at Rennie, Give and it's us? like, the last one. Survival of the smartest today. <laughs> I saved your ass once, let me save it again. So it recognizes Frank. Yeah. As the last of his tribe. It kind of sniffs the air. How many and times it can it really do licks that? licks its mouth. A, a lot. I'm going to go it's ahead, swift, turn into you, a bear. You would know this because you yeah. rolled high. You it is a recharge. Mm -hmm. so okay. Is he is, off the ground? Is yeah, he not on fine. the ground? So he was 30 feet up, or he was 30 feet from the, the your square. So he is flying. Um, he's not 30 feet in the air. He's probably... 10 Maybe feet off the ground. Yeah. Oh, well, then you could probably spot him as a bear. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Bonus I'm... action to turn into a. Yeah. Okay. Look at how many hit points you have now. Uh, run up and jump off the thing. There. <laughs> Air latch on. Yeah. You yeah. Get to, you get to make I'm a going, death save on your turn. I'm going up on. Since he's hovering, yeah. I'm going to come up on part of the bridge to bring me closer to him. Swing away. What was What bonus did you give me? Uh, 1d4. To your, your attack roll. roll. To my attack roll. Uh, that is probably not a hit. 
Is yeah. it concentration? That was a concentration. So, so you don't get the D4. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So just uh, roll your yeah, attacks. Yeah, you don't get it. Okay. Sorry. So uh, that's a seven. Seven's not going to hit. Or 12, rather. 12 is not going to hit. Second attack. Nope. Okay. Got the, the uh, Corbin? syndrome going on. Yeah. Oh, God. Why are the dragons here? Yep. Uh, bonus action all Hexen. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, so... I'll choose Wisdom as the save for disability. Cool. So he's got disadvantage on uh, wisdom, wisdom saves? saves. Okay. And then if he could make one of those for me. Okay, he'll try. How long does that last? What's the save, DC? Oh, that was a 17 on the, the good one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What was it on the other one? Uh, it was a nine. That doesn't do it. All right. Uh, so I'll. Tinka, tinka, tinka. Jeez. Okay. Um, he's not injured. No, he's not. She. So. Not injured. Oh, sorry. I didn't. You were giving me the wrong uh, gender prefix. Um, so it's going to be an eight then, I believe. Eight damage. Yeah. Well, at D eight, and then uh, for hex, I get another D six. Okay. So. Um. That's, uh, that's pretty good. 13. 13 points of necrotic. Okay. It takes 13 points of necrotic damage. And now, it's damaged. What does that look like when it takes 13 <clears throat> points of damage? Necrotic damage. So, I come step around the corner, and I've got the great sword, mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and then Thundercat style. <laughs> I bring it up like this and look straight at him through the blade. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> the bell's like, hanging off my pinky like this. And kind of from the sword, mm -hmm. you see like a wave of sound, like purplish maybe? Yeah, purplish. <laughs> Hit it, and then you hear the bell gong around it, mm. and the, the skin just starts to rot around the eyes and the nostrils oh, and stuff like that. A little sounds... bit of fluid starts coming out. Okay. Oh, that sounds unfortunate. Xenos. All right. <clears throat> um, brave, brave Sir Xenos. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <laughs> It needs to make a strength uh, save. Oh, okay. Oh, it does not roll well. <laughs> uh, that is an eight. <gasps> eight. Ooh, okay. This will be fun. So, <laughs> yellow strips of magical energy rise up from the ground, loop around it, and the target, the dragon, has a, a fly speed reduced to zero Okay. for the next minute. And okay. it uh, descends at 60 feet per round until it reaches the ground where the spell ends. Okay. Well, it's going to descend to the ground. Right. Uh, so, the... um, hey, Mike. it's <laughs> coming down. Okay. And that actually worked. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Yeah. Vizago. Woohoo. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. Well, it's going to descend on its turn, right? Not on your turn. Uh, it just says every. Yeah. An airborne creature affected by the spell descends at 60 feet per round. Okay, so on its turn, it will descend. Okay. Can, right. can I touch, um, can I touch him from here? What's that? Uh, in between the stat lights. Can I <laughs> 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 so okay. No. <laughs> no. Well, it's close. I don't know. But Does it get a save every round? That's what I was Specifically, yeah. I don't want to be in a line again. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to come up to here, and, and I'm going to slap your face and, and cast your wounds at second level. Okay. Right. So no it's, save. But it's also a concentration, so if you take damage... Uh, I'm hiding behind the rocks. Right. How saying. could he possibly uh, take You damage? heal 13 points of hit points. Oh, Thank you. And as I slap you, I go, see, this doesn't claim you today, dumbass, get up. Just saying. If for some reason... Oh, that's yeah. not so disrespectful. Yeah. That's not the right way to save your life. Okay. So that was Vaziago. Do you have anything else? Uh, yes, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to go ahead and throw an inspiration your way. Except not okay. So, Shipwreck? All right, I rage and I go jump on the dragon. Rawr, okay. Make a uh, acrobatic check as you're running across the oh, natural bridge. Natural 20. Okay. Nice. And then my athletics check to jump. Okay. Which I get advantage on, because you'll need it. I'm raging. What's your total? Six. Six. Hey, Six. Link. Just not for. Oh know, wait, nothing. hang on. I get a. Oh, oh, that's those saving throws. Dang it. Oh, we took a rest. Never mind. That was gonna be really cool, but maybe we took a rest. So, yeah, you got a total of what? Yeah, six. six. Okay. I rolled two twos. 
That seems to be my thing when I'm rolling skill checks. Okay, so you're ad- adjacent to where the dragon will be. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's not mine. <clears throat> okay. and, and I believe the last time you got a six, you were prone. <coughs> so you're up to your waist now. Uh, that was on an acrobatics check. Oh, that's right. Uh, so you're up to your waist. Actually, no, wait. This, ma- this makes more sense. So you don't land exactly where you wanted to. It's kind of slick, and you slide a bit, um, and you slide further into the lake. So oh, you're all right. not adjacent to the dragon when you land. Um, and that's the end of your turn, yes? Yep. Okay. Sarsero, you're on the ground? Uh, yeah, I'm... And you're awake? I'm awake. And you're feeling vigorous? I'm feeling vigorous. And I think I'll go ahead and give it a try with the thunder wave. So he needs to make a fortitude save. Okay. Or, uh, sorry, Con constitution save. save. Uh, now, a question. Yeah. Because everybody knows everything. Mm-hmm. If he pushes, if you push the dragon outside of his ropey tendrils, that's gross. Um, does is he no longer affected? Okay, by... Okay, so my the range of my spell uh-huh. is three hundred feet. Right, but what's the? Area you're not the doing a three hundred feet of. It's not an area. It's, no. its target is one. It's creature. one. Yeah, so it's affected it's, for the duration it's not of the spell. Holding on to an area, it's holding on to it. It's so wings it moves, are now it pinned. goes with it, yeah. and it yeah. keeps it's dropping. Its wings are pinned to its side, and okay. it's falling. It needs to make a constitution saving Yeah. Throw. And what's the DC? DC for All right. Uh, it does not make it. Excellent. Yeah, stop ro- rolling out in the open. <laughs> <laughs> so that is not a ton of damage. Uh... <coughs> At least he's going to fly right over me. Because so it's going to push him. on me. It's going to push him? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So it's just five thunderous damage. Okay. How far does it push him? Uh, ten feet. Ten feet. Which direction would you like to push him? Would you like to push him in, on, directly on Out? top of Sir? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to push him onto the bridge. Uppercut! Can I do that? Yeah. he's still up, right? Well, if you do that, then he'd just be, it looks like he'd be just be on the bridge. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you push him onto the bridge. <laughs> Next to a bear. No, that bear got out of there. Slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, slide. I'm getting. I don't know if you know that. All that right. bear. So it broke. is now his <laughs> turn. <laughs> we need sticky deck. Um, I am going oh, to roll his down. recharge for his breath. Okay, that happened. Um, he will make a an attack roll against Frank. Okay. And that is definitely a hit. I know that. <clears throat> what's the constant? What's the concentration? It's con save. Con save. How much Ten. damage did he did, do to me before with the breath weapon? I can't beat 19. that. Nineteen. Nineteen. So I would have. That'd have been a ten, because it's half, right? So it'd have been. Well, did he use a breath weapon on him? He hit him previous. with a breath weapon the first round. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been my bark skin. That would have triggered my. Wait, your bark skin's a concentration. Yeah. So you would have to roll a DC ten Constitution saving throw. No. Okay, so, so you don't have Burks. Bur- no, I don't have that. So whatever so, attack he did hit me anyway. So. Well, I don't have to ask if it hit you there because you it's a crit. I mean... Oh, <laughs> no, he's got tons of hit points. Well, yeah, he's got a whole form still. So... so mm-hmm. Really? That is several. Water. Uh, <laughs> what did, was your bear form have? <laughs> How many would you roll? I got 17, uh, 27... My dice hates me. Uh, <laughs> How much? How much is that? Thirty-four. Uh, uh thirty-two. Um, plus four. So, um, thirty-six. So you knock me into human form, and I take two more points of damage. Yeah. Ouch. Carry the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna swing down at Mike. Can I grab him? <laughs> sure, if you want. <laughs> and then put you right up on his arm. Yeah. So, Mike, uh, two hits. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> um, is this slashing, piercing, or buzzing damage? This is slashing damage. Awesome. Uh, eight. <laughs> Four. And five. So two. Two. Yep. All right. I'm going to try to strength check to grapple onto his arm and pull myself Sure. Off. Six or so that's a 
ten? No. <laughs> Corbin. Uh, I I'll move to behind this stalactite stalagmite, and I'll ring the bell again. Okay, it's mm-hmm. injured this time. Yeah. Uh, disadvantage on wisdom saves. Yeah. Throws right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I get a choice between a twelve and an eight. So I guess eight. Oh. That doesn't make it. You don't. You can take four whole points of necromantic damage. Okay. Necrotic damage. But it's like a disease. It's creeping. Yeah, it's just starting to. Um, it's actually not turning it black because it was already black, it's but it's kind of graying it's instead an of ash gray. Ashing yeah. it. And it's it's like flaking away. It's really nice. Frank, I didn't have you go. I skipped you, right? I just attacked you and popped yeah, you up. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one Rin, go ahead and have I'm going to go ahead and I am going to morph back into the bear. Oh, and then I'm going to inspirations on one attack, right? On oh, attack rolls, yeah. So you get uh, an attack roll, yeah. An attack roll, yeah. But right. you also get to choose whether you use it after you roll. So oh. if you roll ha. really well, don't use there it. There we you go. Don't have to. All right. So uh, 18. Uh, 18 is gonna hit. All right. So that is the bite, and then on the claw. Uh, that is a. 12. 12 is not going to hit. 12. 16. 16 damage? Yeah. No, no, no 16, 16 to hit. 16 is hit? also not going to hit. Right. Okay. So right. I hit with the. So you're somewhere right. between 16 so and 18. 12. 11 hmm. points of damage straight. Okay. From the bite. Okay. He takes it. She takes it. <laughs> Xenos. Uh, yeah, um, Xenos is your turn. If it's prone, does that give us any advantages or give it any disadvantages? Yeah, melee advantage against it. Okay, so um, oh, I'm gonna would. cast Grease on the ten foot square underneath the dragon. Okay. So it needs to make a reflex save. All right. A dexterity save. I'm sorry. Dexterity saving through. Yep. How about a 18? It makes it safe. All right. But it's in difficult terrain. Yes. For the duration. Yes. And um, yeah. and if it ends its turn there, it has to make another save. Yes. That's right. It'll keep making saves as long as you guys keep it in that ten foot spot. That's right. On the bridge. And it can't uh, fly. Vizago. <laughs> <laughs> you got this thing on the run. No, we don't. Yes, we, <laughs> do. we, we got, got we got this. We got it on the bridge. We are kicking that is it. Why? Is your tendrils thing still on it? Yes. yes. Ropey tendrils. It can't fly. It can't fly. As and long as I'm concentrating on it, it can't fly. But you can drop it at any time. Yeah. It's just concentration. Yeah. And we all know that dragons don't have legs, so it's stuck no. there. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's stuck. Uh, yeah. It can go ahead and make a wisdom uh, saving throw. Oh, it does this a disadvantage. Yep, DC 15. All right. Uh, nope, does not. Okay, uh, can I see both of my D6s, please? <laughs> <laughs> You'd like so them back? <laughs> for, like, drop your spell. For the stream. Drop my spell. Okay. For the stream audience, uh, this dragon is not old enough to have legendary resistances. <laughs> it takes 13 psychic damage. Okay. As I whisper and it goes into its ear that goes, everything you love is done while you're here. And it has to take its immediate reaction to fly as far away as it can. What have you done? It's frightened of me. <laughs> okay. But it can't fly. But that and was you said my, my, my flag. Wait, it's frightened? Yeah. <laughs> my, my flag. My you flag. scared my flag away. I scared your death away. Wait, wait, now wait. let's all get the fuck no, out of here. It's it's tethered down, right? Yeah, at the moment. So as long as you're in sight, it's got disadvantage to checks and attacks while it can see. Mm. So let's well, just not drop my flag, my right. thing. It's, right. Yeah, I'm not and dropping it's my flag. It's away. It's not try to run. It's this turn. Its immediate reaction is it has to get away from me. So it has but to run. next right. turn, it's going to be fine. But if oh, we leave it, one turn. if we leave it tendril, then it's going to try and back away, and it can't, and it burns its turn, but it's still right so there. So it it can just not fly, right. correct? Yeah. Right. So it can. So run. it can. It's still going to. It move. can swim or walk away right. from you as quickly yeah. as it can. So it okay. jumps yeah. and takes attacks for opportunities. It goes and off it's the bridge. its reaction. It's its so reaction. it happens right now. Right now, he tries. Now, to get away. question for you: yeah. Does attacking it 
cause any issues because it's going to move away. Uh, let me two. double check the spell real quick. Okay. Well, uh, on a failed save, it must take, uh, take three seconds. It must use its immediate reaction if available to move as far as speed allows it from you. Okay. The creature doesn't move into an obvious danger ground such as fire or a pit. Well, that's that's it. it. Okay. Okay. So it jumps into the water and it begins to swim away. Um, are you Which, going to make an attack for me? Yes. Are you going to make an attack sure. for against it? Yeah. I'm okay. going to use. Uh, I'm and I'm going to, because you've greased it, I'm okay. going to make it make a, an athletics check okay. to do this and still call. keep its full move. Yeah. Uh, it does not keep its full move, so I'm going to knock 10 off yeah. its full move. So it, it jumps into the water and it starts swimming away. And you 19 hit. hits. And I missed. Okay. With a 16. So 10 damage from my punch. Okay. And it is... So we know it's at like a where, Which side right? of the bridge did it jump onto? That off? far side, because okay. it has to move away from him. So it jumped over here. Uh-huh. And then how far did it go? It goes sploosh into the water, and um, you can make an insight check. Anyone that can see it can make an insight check to figure out like how far it made it. Okay. Okay. So what'd you get? So my insight is nine. <laughs> okay. No. 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 Okay. Um, you don't know. Okay. It makes a big splash and it displaces a lot of water. And, and Zagu goes. We <laughs> try. <laughs> it's gone. We go. Um, we have to go get dwarves. Great. If they can make it out, I bought them some time. But honestly, we've gone above and beyond the call of duty here. So that was Laziago's turn. Shipwreck, what are you doing? Um, oh, the the bridge is now from... Gone. Yeah, it crumbled when the dragon jumped. So the so middle 16. section, of, it's it not, it's posted in, have, so yeah. we'll just pretend. So I have a swim check of 20 uh -huh. to swim to this island. Right okay, there. yeah, you swim right over. It smells foul because. Can I see the dwarves? No. No. no you hear no clinking of, of chains, uh, but they're a they're ways off. Away. Um, but you see the boat that they ferried the the dwarves. Um, Doug, with your another thing that you would know about dragons for with your Arcana check mm -hmm. um, is that the longer they stay in a place, the more it becomes home to them, and black dragons befoul whatever bodies of water that they're in. And it has been here for a few days. It hasn't been here long enough to do anything tremendous to okay. it, but it looks like um, if this decided to make its lair here, it would be very bad for the uh, the whole area. Like it would have a lair at that point. Yeah. Um, Guys, we don't want a black dragon to have a lair on the island. You know what we don't want to do? Take on a dra black dragon with the six of us. If you really want to kill the dragon, go back and convince the army of dwarves all their friends are here. <laughs> that, that, by, by the but, time we get back, all so the dwarves are dead. That was Shipwreck's turn. Hold on. Yeah. Well, we're still on initiative. Yeah. Sarsarel? Well, I was going to heal Shipwreck, but he moved too <laughs> far down, away. I'm only down six. Do you, wanna, down six. do you want to swim over to him? Can I... You're Can I heal you? No, nah, because if you healed friend? me, I'd be in bear form, and That's I just I went to bear form. So, so you may want to ready yeah. an action in case the dragon. Heal I'll heal myself. You did die that one time. <laughs> Vizag will say again it's as he fine. points towards the door. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll heal Into myself. the melted spots on your armor. <laughs> I heal myself and try to make sure I'm not like a target. Okay, so you try to not be in a line with anybody. Yeah, else. exactly. Okay. Um, all right. So the dragon gets to go. Yep. Um, it doesn't surface. Um, Ren. Um, I will do an insight check. Turn into a shark! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that. He Turn into a dragon! <laughs> he Definitely don't have that. Oh. Um, insight, uh... Sure. I mean, you can make a perception check at this point. Oh, okay, well... Because the dragon is big and moving, and the water has kind My of... perception is way calm, better. So perception? Down. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a 20. Okay, you see it starting to move away. Continuing away. that away. way? Yeah, away from you guys. It double moved away. Okay. All right. Um, I will... Uh, yeah. Ready in action. Uh, slightly. Cast, hmm? cast Avalanche on that ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will... That um, ready in action to retreat if it looks like it's coming back the... Uh, 
You get ready in action to move away? Yeah. Okay. Corvin. You guys just see me in bear form, and I'm just like... Sniffing. Pointing at it. Yeah. You're doing, the, you're doing a pointer dog thing, but with the bear, right? So it's <laughs> awesome if I go to there, can I try and see it? Mm -hmm. You can make a perception check. Yeah. Ten. Mm, no. <laughs> it's a uh, black shape in black water. <laughs> I'll hold my action if I... Uh, Ready in action to do something? If I see it pop up, I'll... Tinkle, tinkle. Okay. No, I'll probably Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Uh, Xenos? Um, well, I can make my familiar appear within 30 feet of me. Mm -hmm. It does like water. So, um, my octopus... Yeah. Let's see here. 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 30. So I'll put my octopus. Well, the good thing is it's not going to, uh, he's here. not going to lose hit dice because the octopus died like an older stuff. So, okay. um, so as an action, I can throw him there Which and then the dragon off. Yeah. My, uh, octopus has a stealth in water, okay. although yeah. I don't know if the dragon's going to care, but that's a 20 stealth to hide. I mean, it's, and it's got an eight on its perception to look for the Dragon, not that I can communicate with it right now, but okay. my next turn. Uh, it doesn't see anything. Okay. Uh, does that go? <laughs> go get the dwarves. Get as many dwarves as we can. If I see it, we all leave. That's okay. where. The, look, with the octopus in the water, <coughs> they come. Yeah, go get the dwarves. How am I going to get the dwarves? Boat. With the broken bridge. You can jump. <laughs> Not very good. Swim? You saw a shipwreck swim across. Yeah, shipwreck, shipwreck. <laughs> shipwreck, <laughs> uh, I trust uh, shipwreck to grab a boat more than I do to go get shipwreck. <laughs> 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 that's a fair, that's a, that's is that, is that it for you? Um, I am going to go ahead and ready and, mm, no. Okay, I'm actually going to move here. And I'm going to put my hand on the bear. <laughs> and I'm going to ready in action to try and tug and convince him if the dragon comes back. Because right now, Vizaki is going, my friend's going to fucking kill himself <laughs> to try and fight a dragon. I'm not going to let that happen. Okay. Uh, shipwreck? I'm going to go to the boat and get okay. in it. So you go into the boat, you get in it, or you just Yeah, I'm going to go start off? rowing. Okay. You're not waiting for anybody? No, he can get more dwarves if it's just him. Yeah, if it's just me, I can just load up the dwarves and I can sure. strength check it back. All right. So you get in the boat, you start pulling the boat away from the shore, make an athletics check. That's uh, 17. Okay. Yeah, you... Is it skipping? I know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, that's impressive rowing. rowing. Not as good yeah. as my rowing. Your brother impressive. is now far out of your range. So I don't know what to do with him. I can't I really more. get to He's saving him. people. My, my rage ended because the dragon swam away. Yeah. He got all... He, like go. you got all sober. I'll, I'll, I'll make my way towards him. Okay, so... It's enough fatigue. <laughs> You can so I'm gonna swim across. make a swim check. Yeah, because it's an athletics, right? Already? Yeah, that's athletics. Yeah, it's the same as I'm not too worried about it. Okay. So, I mean, what do I, what do I have to do to don't swim? critical fail? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 20, you're fine. Twenty-two. Like if you if you rolled low enough, you'd start to sink, Drown. and <laughs> and, and there would be there would be several rounds of you being on the bottom of the 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 cave lake, and and then you just walk across. Yeah. yeah exactly. All right. So. Um, Mike, make a perception check. Uh, let's see, that's uh, 16. Okay. Uh, you spot a big, like, oh. like uh, wake heading towards the same location that you're going to. Like towards the dwarves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to rescue the dwarves? Yes, we do. So, Ren? That's it's job. what we were sent to do. Do you give any sort of set, any sort of? No, you wouldn't. I can't yet. Um, I just like. And on my <laughs> turn, I can yell out and come get you. <laughs> um, what would it take to get across that open spot on the? Uh, just an athletic check. Uh, that is a. It's like a ten foot missing space. Yeah, you make it. So I. You jump to the other side. <laughs> Whee! I come to the edge. Do you fall forward? Like, <laughs> no. <it's, laughs> he knows better. I tried. I really uh, tried. And then, um, 
perception once I get to the... How far out are you? You're He's not far. All right, perception. Uh, 24. You see a wake. Can I tell? Is it a dragon? Yeah. Oh, this is a big, it's a big wave of nope. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. I roar. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You are? I roar. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Corbin. I guess everybody's going to this other island. Okay. Mm -hmm. um. Athletics? Yeah, you cleared it. 14 athletics? Yeah, you make it. Weight across? Yep. Cool. I just look at VI. I mean, your clothes were ruined before, but now they're really smelling foul. <coughs> Venus? All right, so I guess I'll move. Cost me two years. Twenty-five. Mm -hmm. No, I'll, I'll move fifty. Okay. Towards the bridge. Sure. And then my familiar can swim thirty feet. So that is not your familiar. Twenty. Though. I don't know what happened to the my. The, it oh, should be on the. It, oh, it's it's on the he didn't move it off the okay. board. Yeah, well, I didn't think I was be using my octopus. So, yeah, I'll do. Okay. I'll do that since I hear the roaring and whatnot. So. Okay. Um, Still concentrating on my spell. Vizago. Good for you. <laughs> they weren't flying. Oh, I know. Contemplating I appreciate leaving. It for real. <laughs> this is exactly what happens. Vizago turns towards the door, looks back, and goes, <clears throat> Can they have my money? <laughs> <laughs> I need one of them. The dwarf's not going to let me out without the money. I mean, if I bring one core, all right, and then I, I'll start going. Uh, okay. I'll athletics check for you. So for? Uh, that's going to be a 14. Sure. So for the sake of time, the shipwreck makes it to the island. Mm -hmm. uh, the dragon beats you there. Um, the dwarves will tell you that the dragon got to the island, grabbed what it wanted from the island, which was a loose pile of treasure, and then it left. Oh. Um, so it was going for its mini horse. You hear a watery type voice um, saying, I will see you again. And I roar. <laughs> As it casts yeah. sending and speaks to you. So mm -hmm. it, it ju goes just, just to you. Um, and you guys have rescued the dwarves. Hooray! Cool. Um, Vizago to himself real quick, just because he knows what he whispered, goes, huh, so that's what he values more. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to wrap this up. We're running a little long tonight, but um, I wanted to get you guys back to um, Squall. So um, you guys make your way back. There's not a, any imminent threats at this point. Um, any kind of signaling to the ship is not going to work at this point because the dragon lets them know that the jig is... is Don't go back. ...totes up. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the townsfolk are very happy to see you. Um, and the dwarves. And the dwarves are very happy to see the dwarves. Um, Craig uh, comes to you mm -hmm. and he says, uh, I have a message... Uh, that I received, um, and a message for you as well. Craig or Craig? Craig. Craig. Okay. Um, came with you. And he well. says, your, um, your friend uh, has asked me to um, when you were looking for secure it, passage to uh, Emmerich's Hold. And he, would, he told me a phrase that you would recognize. And what's this phrase? Uh, his phrase is, uh, you better not be captured again, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by, uh, let's see, I, I haven't finalized the number yet, but let's say uh, 459, which Vizago will pull, and it's the last three digits of his prison code. On the phone <laughs> so um, Craig says that um, while you've been gone, he has talked to... Uh, Shimbuckler, mm. and Shimbuckler is willing to teleport you guys for money. Yeah, for money. Oh, so you're going to pay that for the money that you owe me? <laughs> Wait, I owe you money? 
So <laughs> before we break, um, one last thing, and then we'll pick up in Squall when you guys are there. Um, do you guys give the money back to the dwarves or not? Yeah. What we yes. didn't skin. The majority of the money? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We will say that uh, between you, you got another 100 gold pieces a piece. So it's 300 gold That you pieces. skimmed and that is not traceable. <laughs> <laughs> but you give the majority of the gold pieces back. And Craig is so happy that you that you have done such a great job and have not looted from his <laughs> ancestral home <laughs> that he... Sense, but... We're presents mm -hmm. someone with a set of mithril uh, armor. Yeah, mithril armor. It's non-magical, but... Um, so anybody wear, you're the only person who wears armor, right? I wear armor. I mean, that's the same weight as scale, or...? It would be... Well, so I will share with you what it, what it means. Okay. Um, it's it's non-magical, but it's beneficial, kind of like in that <laughs> other movie where there was hob... Uh, halflings that were called something else. <laughs> um, okay, with that, that's where we'll break for tonight. Perfect. Thank you everyone okay. for joining us, and uh, we'll see you Monday. Monday, at Monday, 6 30. Monday. Yay! Bonk. Bonk. Sounds good. Good dunk, good dunk.